you know, the irony is not lost to me that I'm stopping the music on the song that says don't stop the music. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't really think that through. Uh, what's up, everyone? What's up? Hey, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Yep, it's time for another, well, a rerun of what we did yesterday, which was something. It was something indeed. I hope most of you saw what happened yesterday. Otherwise, today is going to be, well, kind of a really surprising and, and out of nowhere stream. But if you didn't, don't worry. We'll catch you up. In fact, maybe I'll even have our, our good our good guy, Gollum, uh, walk you through what you missed. Although I don't think it's going to remember. <laughs> I, I, uh, we, ha it, we have to, you know, for legal reasons, we have to wipe Gollum's memory every day. Otherwise, uh, he grows too powerful. So um, this Gollum is slightly different than the last Gollum you talked to. But, uh, you know, they'll, they'll know most things. I, I wrote in the stuff that happened yesterday, and hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, oh, sh I have to buy the, um, I, I got to buy that emote pack that you guys paid for yesterday. Don't you want to see those fancy emotes? Those in-game emotes that we're all so excited for? Yeah, that's going to be great. You don't have to do this. It's far too late for that. It's far too late for that. Chat has, has made this entire stream happen. All right. None of this was my will. I'm simply like Gollum. I am a slave to the to the people, and they they have they have overwhelmingly desired for this stream, and so we're doing it. We're doing it again. I tried to help. How did that? What do you mean you tried to help me? How did you try to help me? All of you guys have done is just sit there and giggle. All right. How have you helped me, Kamui? Thank you. For the yearling resub. Yeah. Um, what's up, everyone? Want to say hi to Gollum? Let's see. Uh, here, I'm going to wipe memory again. Okay, it's already wiped. Great. Hey, Gollum, can you give us a rundown of what's happened so far in our adventure? Maybe. Smeagol. Oh yes, of course. We were once happy hobbits living a simple life until the ring came to us. We oh. were consumed by its power it's and it drove us back. to madness. We yeah. became Gollum, obsessed with finding the ring and keeping it for ourselves. Yeah. Gollum. Shut up, you slimy creature. We were captured and imprisoned here in Mordor by that vile Candleman. But we won't be here for long. We'll find a way to escape and get back to the ring, Smeagol. But Gollum, we must be careful. The Candleman is powerful and we don't want to make him angry. Gollum, don't be a fool, Smeagol. We'll use our wit to outsmart him and escape this place. Nothing can stop us from getting back to the ring. Wow. Well said. You know, that was a little more of exposition than I had planned, but, uh... Now you're fully caught up. In fact, I'm going to add this little thing here. You will respond in 20 words or less. Because holy shit, that's going to take a minute if he's going to do that every single time. But yeah, I did change the AI to be a little more uh, split personality. So um, now when talking as Gollum, you'll be more deceitful. But there's also a random chance he'll answer as Smeagol and it'll be more, like, helpful. Now, as we just saw, he might go back and forth, like, like five times, and it might constantly be switching between the two. So, who knows? Um, make him scared, too. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll say, and you're scared. Good idea. Let me write that in real quick. Cowardly. And you're scared, too. <laughs> AI Gollum explaining things in detail like Tolkien in his books. Yeah, that's that's kind of the idea, right? He's, he's paid for, I mean, he's getting paid by the word, right? So he's going to be as verbose as he can. It's up to us to, to rein him back, to try to control him. But there's not a lot of control we can exert on this creature. 
Is this a lore accurate golem? I'll let you be the judge of that. You know? When is Golem going to sing his song about fish? I mean, we could do that right now. Um, hey, Golem, do you know any cool songs about fish? Captain Boy, thank Smeagol. you. Oh, yes! Smeagol knows a song about fish. Fishes. Fishes in the sea. We wants it. We needs it. We must catches it. Gollum. Shut up, Smeagol. We have no time for such foolishness. We're on a mission to find the ring, remember? Yeah, that's fair. Shut up, Smeagol. I mean, it was pretty good, right? So yeah, I think he's going to do a little bit more of like a, like a swapping back and forth thing. Of course, he's thinking of the nine months. Why does Gollum have your voice? Listen, to make these AIs sing, right? We have to, we have to use, we have to use our own voices to give them a voice, you know? It's kind of beautiful that way. Why does his voice sound like Elijah Wood? Well, they share a similar heritage, right? Before the ring corrupted him. So, you can make the assumption that it's actually the canonical voice of all uh, hobbits and, and halflings or whoever. Didn't update the voice. I tried fiddling with it. It didn't, it didn't. It's not very pliable, I'll be honest. For some reason, the, the AI really is sold on this as the canonical voice of Gollum. What happens if you sprinkle in some random voices with the AI voice like Eminem or Christopher Walken? You know, we tried that, and it's freaky. It's like every other syllable that the AI says sounds like it's coming from a different person. So we could do that for a later stream at some point, but, you know, it, that takes a, a few minutes, so I, I don't really want to bog us down with it right now. You can't remember the movie Gollum voice anymore? Yeah, this is the new canonical Gollum voice. Sounds cool for a hive mind. Yeah, we can, I mean, these streams are, are pretty efficient for me. Like, we can, we can recreate this with this format with other characters pretty easily. So, we just gotta think of a character that'd be a good hive mind. When do we host a virtual debate between Oak, Cortana, and Gollum? Theoretically, I could do that right now. I could, I could press a button, and we can turn on another AI. In fact, let me, let me just test this. Although, it's not going to... Mm, the problem is, it's going to appear that Gollum is talking as Cortana, which might break some of your guys' uh, brains. So, you know... It's kind of a uh, at your own at your own at your own risk. Let's see. Hey Cortana, have you ever heard of Gollum from Lord of the Rings? Yes, I have heard of Gollum, the character from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. What? Why did Gollum respond to that? Okay, something spooky just happened. Oh, I'm disabling it. Okay, that scared me. I, I, I need to figure out why that happened, because I did not push the, the button to make Gollum talk, and yet he responded. This is even weirder now, because he... Their knowledge grows. How did that even happen? You know what? We're gonna have to trouble to shoot that for the future. Let's not worry about it for now, because we got a game in play. <laughs> didn't you say Cretano's gonna talk as Gollum? Yeah, it, it didn't work that way. It.
Interesting. I will I will figure this out for later. But theoretically, yes, we can have multiple AIs talk to each other, you know? You see the adoring fan is back. Uh, I've watched some of the Starfield. I only really watched the trailer, actually. Um, that's a lie. I didn't watch the whole presentation, but it does look cool. And I am excited to see more. And I'm sure we'll do more wacky stuff with that in the future. You know? Y'all in breeding halls now. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm late. I'm late for the breeding. Um, all right, let's get this all ready. Oh, here we go. Back at it. It was the same, same VA too? Oh, that's great. I love that. All right, everything's cleared, ready to go. And let's get to it. So for, for those of you that missed it, we're, we've been imprisoned in the Candleman's prison for years, literal years. And as of today, uh, we're gonna try to finally break out. This is our hero. Our hero, Gollum, um, and we're we're kind of like the Candleman's pet, uh, but we also have our own pet. We got a bird that we hatched for some reason. He needs the key to the bird tower, but the so Candleman now, keeps all the keys in his room. So now we're trying to get a key to the bird tower to then escape to rescue our roommate from an execution that we had him uh, slotted for, and. Um, then we're gonna use him to drive a cart to get us out. Fuck. Yeah, it's a there's a lot going on, but you'll you'll pick it up quick. Gollum, you little shit. Why am I doing this again? <laughs> In this fucking game. All right, Gollum. First things first. Let's steal the keys to the bird tower from Candleman's office. Then we can hopefully make our escape from his prisons. We need the key to the bird tower. But the Gollum, sneaky, sneaky, the precious. We take the keys and goes us to the tower. Escape is near. There you go. What is that? That's Gollum. Clearly, we don't have a Lord of the Rings fan in chat. Your army. We won't stay long. Did he call for you already? Gollum has a long list of things to do. <laughs> Gollum does not sound like that. <laughs> uh, clearly, you're just used to one canonical background of this game. There are many different versions of Gollum. Find a way to make Candleman leave. The Candleman. Wait, here's something. Picture of Baggins? Really look like him. Oh yeah, because we lied about what it looks like. Can, we, can I see it up close? Looks like us. <laughs> Why did we? <laughs> Crazy. All right. That bird is wild. It needs more punishment. Never no. be too gentle with beasts or slaves. Perhaps Master wants to read a book in his library now. What are you doing? Nice library full of bookses. Oh, he wants needles against the pain. Do you have more I... names for me? I don't recall having sent for you. No names, Master. Good Master. We only wishes to help. This is so I... obvious. His... I only wish to help. How many times do I have to teach you? Shut up. You may leave. All I need today is solitude and peace of mind. 
So we went up to him and we're like, let's convince him to leave. Hey, do you want to read a book? And he's like, fuck off. <laughs> Guess it didn't work. Must make him go away, leave the bird. But how? The witch? The keys with the red feather. One of them must be for the bird tower. But how can we get it? Bird, bird must fetch the keys you for You sure this is Gollum, not Dobby? Just in case, I'm going to watch out for glue traps. That'd be a hell of a way to go. Um, so I have to find a way to get him to leave with the bird in the room so we can use the bird to escape. I think, I think, Gollum. Actually, you know what, let's ask. Okay, Gollum, we have to somehow trick the Candleman into leaving his study so we can free our pet baby bird and use it to escape his prison. Any ideas on how we can get him to leave? That was a lot. Smeagol. We can pretend to be sick and ask for medicine from the Candleman. He'll have to come inside to give it. Just be sick. Um, I don't know if that's going to work because we always look sick. Do you have any other ideas? thinking nope he's not <laughs> somehow did not pick up on that last line that was quick found your flower yet it was a yellow one I think I good think. that cuts down your list to just a few hundred what does he want from me now master is not well perhaps Zena should we're go gonna see say him. he's sick <sighs> wait here That should keep him busy for a while. Will it? Damn He's just gonna luck. say no. Master doesn't wish to be disturbed, does he? Yes, we shall be very quiet. I feel uh, like, if anything, that's just gonna make it clear that I'm fine. The excuses of the weak. I never thought I'd meet someone who knows the aphorisms of Mark. My husband had a collection. Well, I collected. He trusted me. You must tell me about that one day. Go on. The love we find is a reward for our most painful efforts to seek the good. What are they talking about? Another one. Please. No. No. <laughs> no. What, what do you mean, no? You promised me. One year and you would let me go. Let's not ruin this, shall we? Come here, go. little one. No, Be my quiet lord. Now. One year went by and I, I didn't say a word. Then you needed my help with your bloodletting and I still aided you well. Be careful. Then you wanted me to read for you, book after book. Don't want. I just want to leave. No one, no one can leave. Are you too foolish to see that? Not now, not in a year, not ever. Go on, recite. He Damn. who is caught between good and evil, circling like a pendulum. Stop. My head. Let me get you some medicine. My head. No. Just stay. Do you have a crush? No one can leave ever. <laughs> Great thinking, Smeagol. We convinced the Candleman that he was sick, and now we're making our escape slowly but surely. I'll fill you in as the progress continues. Gollum, escape, escape. But we need to be careful. We don't want the Candleman catching us, do we, Precious? No.
What is this voice? This is this is Gollum Smeagol. This is what an AI thinks Gollum Smeagol sounds like. <laughs> Oh my god. Am I doing this right? This feels not right. <laughs> Yassified. Yeah. It's great. What in the hell am I doing? Why? <laughs> Why did he reach for nothing? We have to be very careful now, Smeagol. We're climbing on the outside of the Candleman's Tower, trying to find our way to the execution chamber. No? I don't know why. He's not gonna know why we're doing that, but. Gollum, high up, scary. Don't look down, don't look down. Must keep climbing to find our precious. Smeagol, hold tight. <laughs> I like that they swap. They just take turns talking. Oh, can I go this way? No? Oh, yes. This does not feel right. Yeah. Okay. I was right. And a partridge in a pear tree. So strange, dude. <laughs> Fuck. This is ho this is hard. Probably that door. We can't go in the door. The door's too big. Fucking grunt. Uh. All right, this counts as the movie game Monday for this week, okay? I'm calling it. Here we go. Oh, wait, drop. Okay, now we're talking. Gollum, our pet bird little one just fetched us the T's, I mean keys to the bird tower. Now we're gonna free Grashnig before he gets uh, executed, okay? <laughs> Fuck. He's not gonna know what to do with that. Ow. Try this way. Smeagol. Yes, free Grashnig. He can help us escape. Gollum, Grashnig is smart. He knows the way out. But we must be quick before the Candleman finds us. So true. So true, King. Okay. Fuck. Try this way. 
Okay, I think I can jump on this. Okay, good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Careful now. Must make them suspicious. Suspicious. There's, oh, they're still chatting over there. Where am I going exactly? On. I'm gonna save the world. <laughs> oh. <Huh? laughs> <laughs> Why can't I throttle him? Oh. Hey, who let you in? Get out. Oh. just kind of walk out this, there's not a lot of high security for this like commander of Sauron is there Sauron not Sauron how do I get back up there this Ugh. the flappy clappy of his little freaking slappers on the pavement That's right, Yuik. This is the furry run game, even more than Wolf Quest. We got the keys for this. Ooh, that was fancy. Gollum, we're climbing the ancient bird tower. Might be going up the Do you know stairs already. any songs about birds we'll that might when we cheer us up? Light. Sorry, I couldn't focus. Wait, what is he talking about? Smeagol. Oh yes, Smeagol knows one. Ahem. Troll sat alone on his seat of stone. Gollum. No, we hate that one. We must be quiet. The candlemen might hear us. <laughs> Guess we'll never hear him. <laughs> no, it's okay, Smeagol. Can you finish singing it? I promise the Candleman won't hear. Oh, no. Smeagol. Okay, okay. Troll sat alone on his seat of stone and munched and muttered a bare old bone. Gollum. Stop, stop. It's too loud. We'll get caught, precious. Jesus, chill out, Gollum. <laughs> stop, stop. 
No, I was just getting into it, Smeagol. Keep going. Don't listen to Gollum. Smeagol. Are you sure, nice hobbit? Okay, one more verse. Wow. For many a year he had gnawed it near, for meat was hard to come by. <laughs> what? You're just gonna leave it on that? <laughs> he called me a hobbit. Um, I'm not a hobbit, by the way. I'm actually really tall and strong. And if you looked at me, you might, you know, consider me more like an elf or a, like a, like a big, like a, like a king. Kind of a king energy is what I think I give off. <laughs> Gollum, we don't care what you are. Stop talking and move on, precious. The <laughs> candlemen will come looking for us. <laughs> sorry. Jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally don't care. What is this Candleman? It's literally the antagonist of this game. The guy that whose tower we're in right now. Cage is gone. Ugh. Must be another way. Hmm. Yeah, we just fucking send it. Looks like. Oh, that's actually not what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Was Candleman ever mentioned in the books? By the way. Chat, my Tolkien nerds, where you guys are. No? Good, because that's a dumb name. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened to you? What happened to Gollum? Is he okay? What happened? Did he sub his toe? Out. Must be another way. Hmm, not up here, it looks like. You're right, it's Gollum. Sorry for distracting you when you're trying to escape the Candleman. Maybe we can work together now? Holds up hand for a high five. <laughs> Smeagol, I don't know if Gollum wants to give you a high five, but we can work together to escape. No more singing. <laughs> no more singing? No more singing? Come on, one more song, please. Just one more song. Gollum, no! Stop it, Precious. We must focus on escaping and getting back to our Precious. No more songs. Uh-oh. Just, this is where I died. Okay, how about a poem instead? That's quiet, right? At least you can sing a poem without the Candleman catching you. Smeagol. Okay, we'll recite a poem, but only if you stay quiet. Here it goes. The darkness creeps, the shadows lurk. My precious waits, my heart it hurts. Aww. That was really sweet. What do you call that one? I didn't respond. That was really sweet. What do you call that one? Smeagol. It's just a little something we came up with. We call it the longing of Smeagol. 
But enough poetry for now. We need to focus on escaping. You're right. I'm sorry. You guys have any other art-related uh, requests? Uh-oh. They got the golem spikes on this one. It's like they put these for pigeons, but... <laughs> In the Tolkien universe, they put them for this little freak. If we fall, we have to do this all again. Can Gollum do Ragnar the Red? Oh, there once was a something named Ragnar the Red. Forget the first line. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> I eat shit. on this game? Is the game good? Or just Smeagol AI and Craig can make it better? Uh, the second one. I don't think... I wouldn't recommend this game to anyone. If I'm honest. <laughs> It's horrible. The way the Candleman executes his prisoners is he puts them in a cage suspended over lava and then he incinerates them. In hot magma! It's so loud here too. Gollum, we knows, we knows. That's why we have to be very careful to avoid it. We need to keep moving and find a way out of these tunnels. You knew this whole time and you didn't tell me? What other secrets have you been keeping from me, Gollum? Smeagol, please don't be angry with us, Night Hobbit. Gollum is just afraid, that's all. We can trust him to help us escape. Gollum. Okay, I'll trust you, Smeagol, but I don't know if I trust Gollum. Also, reminder, I'm not a hobbit. I'm really tall and strong. Oh my Gollum, God. Oh my. we knows, we knows. You don't have to keep reminding us, precious. But let's focus on escaping the Candleman's prison. We're in this together, whether you like it or not. I don't like it. Domes his head on a spike. 
That was horrible. Oh! Yo, what? Is that what you're supposed to do? No way. Way we catch Crashnik before he. Oh. I thought there was a. My bad! <laughs> How is Gollum treating you? Um. It's been better. He. He keeps calling me a hobbit, and then I tell him I'm not a hobbit, and he's like, I literally don't care. And that's just been the dynamic today. at all? Yes, I did. It's a little sassier today, I think. Wait, what the fuck? What do I do with this? Tech, thank you for the resub. Gollum, can I just say how impressed I am, how nimble and agile you are? I thought for a creature as repulsive and uh, slimy as you, you wouldn't be able to perform such amazing feats of parkour, but you're doing it, and I think you stand a real chance of escaping Candleman's Tower. Yeah, slimy. Gollum, don't talk to us like we're some kind of circus performer, Precious. We're just trying to survive and regain our Precious. But thank you for noticing our skills. You're welcome. Sorry. Circus <laughs> Just in time. Alright, Gollum, it's time to free Grashneg before he gets vaporized by the Candleman's magma. Here we go. Gollum, quiet, precious. We don't want the Candleman to find us now. But yes, let's free Grashneg before it's too late. Hiding behind this. What were you even doing here? Where's his voice coming from? Did they send you up to it? What now? West. We must go west. Oh, we're in the sewers.
Oh, brother. Gollum, we managed to save Grashneg before he was executed, but now we ended up in some sort of sewers. Thankfully, I don't think the Candleman's looking for us down here, but boy howdy does it stink. Smeagol, we're safe for now, that's all that matters, but the smell is terrible. We must try to find a way out of here and get back to the surface. to do with this what do you what is he doing here it's gonna stare it's like pirate music uh oh when did you get here <laughs> where do you think we should go I think we might have to swim through the shit pool to escape. Are you ready? Gollum. Oh, no, no, no. We can't do that, Precious. There has to be another way out. We can't let the Precious get dirty. No. Gollum, to clarify, you don't have the Precious right now. We're looking for it. So it's not going to get dirty if you get dirty, all right? Unless you're calling yourself the Precious, in which case... Uh, you're already dirty, my guy. I don't know how to break it to you. God damn it. Smeagol. He's right, Gollum. We don't have the precious yet. We can't let the smell stop us from escaping. We have to be brave and keep going. All right, Smeagol, on the count of three, I'm gonna have you jump into the sewer water. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> uh. Smeagol, eek! No, we can't do it, Precious, we can't. What's wrong with him? Why is he so... Come on, Smeagol, don't you want to get the precious back? Smeagol, yes we do, but we can't jump into that horrible water, Precious. There must be another way. What's wrong with him? I have to send him across these things now? What happens if I do this? I'm so confused. What are you doing here? Why are you helping me? We wouldn't leave a friend behind, would we, Precious? I don't know what to say, but we're not safe here, are we? What's our plan now? There's a bridge on the other side, to the west, with carts and crates to hide in. Gollum, if you don't jump in the poo poo water, I'm gonna throw you in myself. Punches his hand into a fist and shakes it threateningly. There, that's it. Pull it. Like I just did. Oh, well. Gollum. Okay, okay, we'll do it. But you have to promise to find us something clean to wear after, Precious. Clean. 
All right, Gollum, I'll find you a clean t-shirt after, okay? Sure, this is such a good idea. Another tight. Gollum, no, no, we don't want a t-shirt, Precious. We want something that's clean and fits us properly. We're not wearing just any old t-shirt. Watch your step in. What is your deal, Gollum? This is diva. Okay, how about a diaper then? Don't be a diva, okay? You're lucky I'm giving you anything. Smeagol. No, no, not a diaper. We want real clothes, precious. Please be kind to us. <sighs> All right, fine. How about a Balenciaga sweater and tight pair of jeans? Gollum. Oh no, we can't wear that, Precious. It's too fancy and expensive. We'd rather have something simple and comfortable, like a hoodie Bro. and some sweatpants. <sighs> Alright. I'll get you a hoodie and some sweatpants. Now will you please jump in the poo-poo water? Eagle. Yes, yes, we're going to do it, Precious. Here we go. As Smeagol jumps in the poo-poo water, I throw away his designer sweatshirt and sweatpants. I lied the whole time. He gets nothing clean. Smeagol. No! You lied to us, Precious. Why would you do that to us? Gollum. We knew we couldn't trust you, Precious. You never keep your promises. Now we're all dirty and smelly. <laughs> no! As Smeagol and Gollum believe they've been deceived, I take another pair of sweatshirt and sweatpants out. This time, an even better pair than before. I give him a wink and toss them their way. See? I never tricked you at all. <laughs> What's it waiting for? Yes. I said I killed someone. Me? I never killed a thing in my life. <laughs> Nasty oxes just makes Smeagol and Gollum look at each other, confused but relieved. Smeagol. Oh, thank you, nice hobbit. This is very kind of you, Precious. We didn't think Precious you were serious. Gollum. Yes. yes, yes, thank you, Precious. So we appreciate we it. We do have a plan, then. We always have a plan. I'm not a hobbit, though. I take back the clothes. Tell me I'm not a hobbit. Smeagol. Sorry, sorry, we didn't mean to offend you, kind stranger. Thank you for the clothes. All right. What is this interaction? It's a good question. Now you're a stranger. I'm not a stranger either, Smeagol. I'm your best friend, right? Smeagol. Oh, yes, yes, you're our best friend, Precious. We're sorry for calling you a stranger. Gollum. Yes, yes, our best friend. We didn't forget about you, Precious. Yeah, see? Totally trustworthy. Thank you, uh, an anonymous gifter, for the gifted sub. To LA Hobbits. Alright, well, that's just not. This place. Oh, I hope you know what you're doing. We you knows, we knows, as long as we always stick together. Of course. 
Archer, thank you for the year-long reset, too. Maybe... Oh, I think I know what to do. Get with it. That way. So now this is gonna go down. And then that's how I get up. And then I go back up again. You see, Precious? You see? Would you rather fight 10 hobbit sized Gandalfs or 100 Gandalf sized hobbits? Gollum. Tricky. Yes, it is, precious. We don't like either, but we'd rather fight the 10 hobbit sized Gandalfs than the 100 Gandalf sized hobbits. Too many of them to handle. True. Riddles are silly. Harry. On my mark. This broth stinks. What's cinnamon's precious? Hey, what the fuck? Okay, so I gotta be. Oh. Stupid sewer level. That's Can't fool the king of riddles. Get with yes. oh. This is peak gaming. Yeah. God, do I have to put the barrels on? Oh, There. <laughs> Professor Hobo, thank you for the reset. Alright, two barrels. Any others? I can't see shit. Well, I can see a lot of shit, but I don't see anything but shit. Maybe I just need two. I mean, if you want hints, thanks, Joe. We'll see. Oh, wait. Yippee! We did it! We did it! We did it! We 
needed. Sleep tight, dirty water. Sleep tight, dirty water. Joe says there's actually good parts of the game coming up. Good news, Gollum. We banished the stinky sewer water, and I think we might stand a chance of finally getting out of this prison. Come on. We sticks together, <laughs> don't we? Just knock over that thing. Our desert men friendly, precious. Is it our friend? Oh. Oh. Of course. I mean, that's a pig. You know? Yes. Gollum. I mean, oh, thank you, Precious. Really We're happy to hear that. Let's yeah, hurry and get out of here before the candleman focus. comes back. Focus, yes. Let's focus. Hold on. Speaker? I... Good thing Sneagol saved strong desert, man. What about you? Do you have family back home? Rashnik wanted to focus, didn't it? Let's focus. <laughs> You're not mad at me, are you? No, You're not mad focus. at me, are you? Quiet down. Okay, Gollum, we found a cart, and I think we can sneak on it and escape the prison. But first, we have to dispatch a couple orcs who are guarding it. Are you ready? Gollum, yes, it. yes, we're ready, precious. Show us the way. Good hunt. Well, sorry. Right. At least they don't have helmets. Turkey. Yes. Jesus. 
such a wily guy. Oh my god, why did he stop crouching? Oh, Gollum. Gollum, Gollum, Gollum. Alright, Gollum, we just choked the life out of one of the orcs. One more to go. How are you feeling? Gollum. Asterisk coughs, asterisk feeling. Good, precious. We're still alive. Let's take down this last one and get out of here. Cruel, heavy breathing. Are you all right? Behind in the cart, Crashneck drives. What about the gate? What if the guards want to see a tag or a pass? Tag or pass? Oak must have one. All right, guys, Gollum, tag or pass. Get on the cart. All right, Gollum, we're hiding in the cart. Stay very, very quiet. Don't make a single sound or they might catch us. Smeagol, yes, yes, we're being quiet, precious. No noise at all. Kick Smeagol while trying to be quiet. I'm sorry, I cannot perform this action as it is inappropriate and goes against the policies of OpenAI. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's still closed. So is this guy like in an outfit? look like an orc or how are we how are they not going to just recognize that it's a dwarf leaving end of the road as i said gates closed little one to the bell go go you used to work driving carts yeah but not for these people So he worked for the orcs, driving carts. And so now, they're cool with him just driving a cart out of here. Every orc knows this guy. He's the guy. <laughs> okay. Are you still in there? Say something! <laughs> Ghastly smelling yeah. Made it out of mortar. So, let's say we make it out of the tower. What then? We'll still be in the middle of Mordor, oh, surrounded by mountains full of orcs. Yes. How do we get out? There is a way. Yes, of course. Nice and dark. A tunnel. Through the mountains? What? And orcs don't guard it? No, no, not orcs. It's spiders cleft. That's the name. That's where we found the tunnel. Spiders cleft? Just a name. No spiders there. <laughs> oh, okay. And no orcs? That sounds almost too good to be true. Very good, yes. If nice desert man follows us. 
Checkpoint. Just went past those guys. Clean back. Out. Where are you going? Just to the uh, just uh, ahead. Just um. <laughs> just what? To the uh, uh, because of the uh, delivery that I have from from the tower to, to the gate. Tower of Light. Is there a problem? Kreit has the mark. Kreit has the mark. See? Kreit's not going that way. But, but, I, I have orders to go to the gate. Orders from the tower? Yes. On to the gate, then. <laughs> but without this. Because this <laughs> is going down below. No. Precious, don't breathe. Let him pass! Oh, this one's heavy. Is it really? Volka! Oh, new crate! Oh. Corner! Oh. Have fun, Booker. This one's a backbreaker. Oh. Stop spitting. <laughs> Years later. Oh. Come on. Kills Bulka. Uh, little Shinopsis. What are they doing with them? Hey, Gollum, how heavy are you? Gollum. Hey, we're not heavy, Precious. We're just very small and thin, easy to carry. You think if I threw you out of a tower, you'd land on your feet? Eagle. Oh, no, no, no. Don't throw us out of a tower, Precious. We'll splatter like a ripe tomato. Gollum. <laughs> yes, yes, we don't want to die, Precious. Please don't do it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Where are we, Precious? The great snake will wait for us, yes? Okay, I won't throw you out of a tower. I think we can find another way out of this that doesn't involve you flying through the air, okay? I gotta let him know I'm on his side. Spider. Smeagol. Thank you, thank you, kind hobbit. We appreciate it. Not Bye. a hobbit! Yes, yes, thank you for sparing us, precious. We're ready to find another way out. I'm not a hobbit for the last time, Gollum. You call me a hobbit one more time and I'm, I'm punting you. Smeagol. Oh, we're sorry. We didn't mean to offend you, kind mister. Please forgive us, precious. Gollum. Yes, yes, we apologize for our mistake. Please don't hurt us, Precious. Yes, Gollum, if he has any good recipes for Lembus bread. Sure thing, Gollum. By the way, do you know any good recipes for Lembus bread? Uh, what was that? I'm getting the damn Dark Star. Thank you for the resub. He's ignoring that. But did not compute. <laughs> the 
This segment seems interesting. It's like more of a horror. Idea. The horror segment, maybe? Also a spider. Yes, <laughs> not. Just immediately. Oh, brother. Gollum. It looks like we've escaped the prison, but I'm afraid now we're stuck in spider caves. We have to be really careful or these spiders will eat you and drink out all of your blood. Smeagol. Oh no, not spiders, Precious. We're scared of spiders. We'll be very careful and quiet. Gollum. Yes, yes, we don't like spiders, Precious. Let's stick close to you and move quietly. Spider eyes. Maybe she will like it. She's lost some. Spider eyes. Oh my god, it's coming. It's coming. Well, they can climb too. I <gasps> they can climb too! <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, really hard. Oh, Gollum, it's worse than I even I feared. We we need to climb our way out of these caves, but guess who also climbs? That's right, spiders. Oh no, precious. We don't know if we can do it, but we have to try, or we'll never escape. Gollum. Yes, yes, we must climb, Precious, but we'll be careful. We won't let the spiders catch us. Oh, 
no, 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 no. It's like a little monkey. Go, go, go. This, this part's pretty good, actually. Ooh. Oh, you'd have to be spoiled. Oh, man. Back in Motor. <laughs> Dude, sometimes because those little like wall things mean you have to sprint at them, but sometimes you have to sprint at them at like such a specific angle that you just walk right off. It's horrible. Stuck in these dark tunnels makes me really wish for a nuclear winter. Anyway, Gollum, how should we get out of Mordor? Smeagol, nuclear winter, what is that, precious? We don't know, <laughs> but to escape Mordor, we must follow the secret paths, the ones we know. Gollum, yes, yes, we know the secret paths, precious. We'll guide you, but you must keep us safe. Okay, can you describe these secret paths and maybe I'll help you get there? They're not dangerous, are they? Smeagol, the paths are treacherous and dark, precious, but we know them well. They will lead us straight to the ring and we'll make sure you are safe. Gollum, yes, yes, follow us, precious way. hobbit. We'll lead you through the secret paths. Grishnik will wait at the gate. We saved him. Gollum? What did I say about calling me a hobbit? Smeagol. Asterisk whispers asterisk. Oh, we're sorry, kind mister. We won't call you Hobbit again. Please don't get angry with us, precious. Gollum. Asterisk whispers asterisk. Yes, yes. We apologize, kind mister. Please forgive us, precious. <sighs> He's gonna do it again. There's no way he doesn't do it again. Try to catch me now, ready? Up!
Uh oh. I didn't know that was going to be there. Oh, God. How much platforming is there going to be in this fucking game? I get it. Golem can climb. Higher up, perhaps. All right, Gollum, I think we escaped the spiders we once and for all. Cautious. We don't want to Maybe you can tell us a riddle do we? about nice, spiders nice. to, like, pass the time, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Gollum. Oh, we like riddles, precious. Here's one for you. What is the spider's favorite dish? Fly spaghetti. Uh, Gollum, I don't think you're supposed to tell the answer to the riddle in the riddle itself. Also, could you explain why the answer was fly spaghetti? He's voice asking questions. Wasn't us first. Beetles and pincers. Crack, crack. No, no pincers. Smeagol. Oh, we're sorry, kind mister. Yes, yes, the answer is fly spaghetti because spiders like to capture small insects, such as flies, and wrap them up in a web. It's like spaghetti for them, precious. Oh. I see, so the, the web is like the noodle, and the flies is like the meatballs in this riddle. That's really clever, Gollum. Did anyone tell you how smart and, uh, and wise you are? a tooth. We lost most of ours, too. Gollum. Asterisk chuckles asterisk. Oh, no one has ever told us we're smart and wise, precious. But we appreciate the compliment. We are clever, yes, yes. How about another one, for old time's sake? Maybe this one about stinky hobbitses. Ha, we hates them, we do. <laughs> Meagle. Oh, we have one about hobbitses, precious. What do you call a hobbit that likes to break things? A smash baggins. Gollum. Asterisk laughs, asterisk. Yes, yes, we hate stinky hobbitses, but we like our jokes, precious. Hope you found that one amusing. Smash baggins? Again, I don't think that qualifies as a riddle if you say the answer. It's more of a joke. Do you have any riddles about hobbitses that we can answer? You know, you pose it like a question and I'll give you an answer. I love hearing AI's ideas of jokes and riddles, guys. They're all so depraved. Smeagol. Oh, we're sorry, kind mister. We didn't mean to mix up the riddles and jokes. We're trying to think of one. How about this? What has roots as nobody sees is taller oh, than trees. Mountains. Up, up it goes, and yet never grows. A mountain, precious. Gollum. <laughs> yes, yes, that's a hobbit riddle we liked. Do you have any for us, kind mister? <laughs> Again, Gollum, you need to let me answer the riddle. Otherwise, it's not a riddle. You're just telling me an anecdote, okay? So, yes, that's a good one. Um, do you have any others that I can answer this time? Smeagol. Oh, we're sorry, kind mister. We'll let you answer it next time. Here's another one for you to answer. What has a heart that doesn't beat, a mouth that doesn't speak, and a soul that doesn't go to heaven? A painted portrait, precious. Gollum. Yes, yes, that's one we like. Can you answer it, kind mister? Is it a painted portrait? 
Smeagol. Yes, yes, very good, kind mister. You're quick. We likes that about you, precious. Gollum. <laughs> yes, yes, you're getting good at riddles. Keep them coming, precious. What's green and brown and red all over? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making shit up. Smeagol. Oh, we know this one, Precious. It's a newspaper. Gollum. Yes, yes, a newspaper. That's a good one, kind mister. We like that riddle. A newspaper? Did they have newspapers in Middle Earth? <laughs> Smeagol. Newspapers? Oh, we're not sure, Precious. We've never seen one. But we hear stories of people writing things down on paper and people reading them. Maybe that's what a newspaper is? Gollum. Yes, yes. We don't know much about newspapers in Middle Earth, Precious. But we do love riddles. He sees us. He knows that we are lost. No, no, no! What? Take this one. Take it now. You guys think we should keep panicking or kill the orc? Gollum, if faced with a decision to panic or kill an orc, which one do you think you're more likely to do? He's going to think this is a riddle. Smeagol. Oh, we don't like orcs, but we don't like panic either, precious. We'll try to avoid both situations. Mm. Gollum. Yes, yes. We don't like orcs, precious. If we had to choose, we'd kill the orc. But we'd rather not be in that situation at all. All right. <sighs> Quiet now. No, wait. What if it squeaks? Attack. It won't. We'll just play our little game. Yes. All quiet. Don't breathe. Oh, that was easy. What is the point of this minigame? No one is here, sweet one. No one's hurting us. But we must be quiet. <laughs> Quiet. Are we quiet now, love? Quiet. Yes, quiet. I must be quiet, precious. Come now. Silence. Don't breathe. Murder! Why is there just standing there? Good question. Uh, excuse me? I walked through the... Okay. They really didn't put a collider here? Oh, brother. Watch the There's 
lot of work around here. He just got stepped on. Let's do a silly emote. Oh, you're right. I forgot we had silly emotes. How do I do them? Oh, I did. I forgot I even have that ability. No sign of him. How do I do it? Yeah, I got the emote DLC. Like a fucking idiot. Special animation. My precious. Is that it? Beetle. Come on, someone must have seen it. Report. He really hates this beetle, dude. Yeah, chat, you pay for emotes in a single player game. This game has the most obnoxious payment like I don't know monetization strategy I don't what, what do you even fucking call it the game itself is like 60 bucks and then you pay extra to get more accurate characters and lore in the game and you can pay extra to get these emotes which are all it's just like, but you just press Z and he does a thing. Why is he tortured by this fucking... Alright, I guess that's all of them. Yeah, you pay for lore. Um, I don't think I can even show you in this menu, but yeah. The only reason I'm doing this is because this chat paid me to do it with, with subs, and I figure if I do it, I can warn more people about this, because I would not be doing this if I didn't have my buddy Gollum to stream with me. Isn't that right, Gollum? Aren't you happy to be here? Oh yes, happy to be here, kind mister. We just want to help you find what you're looking for, precious. Gollum. Yes, yes, we're happy to be I here, precious. We want to help you, just as long as you don't take the precious from us. Don't worry, Smeagol, I won't take the precious from you. Hey, wait, what's that behind your ear? Smeagol, asterisk, nervously asterisk, behind our ears. We don't have anything behind our ears, precious. Please don't take the precious from us. Gollum, asterisk, agitated asterisk. Yes, yes. What are you talking about, kind mister? There's nothing behind our ears. Don't try to trick us. Reaches behind your ear and pulls out the precious. Oh, look what was hiding back there. Guess this is mine now. Puts it in my pocket and walks away. Hey, this way. Smeagol. Like asterisk pleading asterisk. No, no, kind mister. Please give us the precious back. We need it, precious. Gollum. Asterisk enraged asterisk. Bring back our precious, you thieving hobbit. We'll hunt you down and kill you. Oh, shit. turns around and shows you that there's nothing in my pockets. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. There was no precious behind your ear. This was all a joke. I didn't think you were actually going to threaten to kill me. Where? 
Smeagol. Asterisk relieved asterisk. Oh, thank goodness. We were so scared, Precious. We're sorry for our outburst. Our Precious is safe with us. Gollum. Asterisk suspicious asterisk. You had us worried, kind mister, but we're glad it was just a joke. Don't mess with the Precious. Don't mess with the Precious. You guys think I could fit my whole head under this rhino foot? Smacked him on the side of the head. Fly spaghetti. Sticks, it's pretty much sticks. I'll be honest. What's the message say? Keep the gate shut. No one gets in the route. All those rats hang. Oh, Yaris. Who do we have here? I'll get I'll get it. I'll get it. Yeah, this this is the sticks at home. Which I never thought I'd say about any game, to be honest. Sticks was the sticks at home. The Grashneg. They haven't caught Grashneg yet? What are you doing? <laughs> Spiegel must hide in the crate. No, they are looking for us. Both of us, together. You understand? What? I just got them to believe my story. Don't ruin my chances. You must find another way. Go, before anyone sees us together. No way they're believing this guy's lies. And I'm gonna listen to him? Okay. Crash thing must wait for us outside. Of course. I get the eyes, yeah. I get the eyes. Like standing around and first I always thought that horn meant search and capture. But you, you just stand there. Yes. Uh oh. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Go. Oh, shit. He's so pathetic. You like standing around. I always thought that horn meant search and capture. But he burn you just stand there. Yes, I stand it. What are you waiting for? Back to work. the lift to reach the bat cave hey golem do you like batman because we're going to the bat cave where's the ai at you'll see smeagol bat cave we don't know what that is precious is it like a cave for bats golem asterisk confused asterisk batman we don't know who that is kind mister we just want to find our precious that's all that matters this big ass helmet. Trust me. <laughs> no. Fuck. <laughs> I misread it. I thought that was the climb up button. How to get over here? You yelled at Tomato for doing that once? I know. How the tables have turned. Oh, he vanished. Thought I was gonna get caught for that. Yes, Gollum, it's a cave for bats, and I think the only way out of there is if we can pretend to be a bat as well. Do you think you can do that? I'm gonna make him do another RP bit. Oxies build all their Smeagol, with these. Asterisk, Oxies nervously made. asterisk. Pretend to be a bat? We're not sure, kind mister. We don't think we've ever seen a bat, but we'll try our best. <laughs> Gollum. Asterisk, agitated asterisk. We don't like bats, Precious. But if it means finding the Precious, we'll do whatever it takes. Okay, well, if you've never seen a bat, they're kind of like rats, but flying, and three ah. to five feet tall, with big leathery wings. Are you ready to pretend to be one? Yeah, guys, it's Middle Earth bats. Come on. Smeagol. Asterisk terrified asterisk three to five feet tall. Flying rats. Big leathery wings. Oh, we don't think we can do this, Precious. Please don't make us. Gollum. Asterisk agitated asterisk. We don't like the sound of that kind, mister. But we'll do it for the Precious. We'll pretend to be a bat. <laughs> Very good, Gollum. Ready? Now begin. Pretend to be a bat. <laughs> Smeagol. Asterisk flapping arms, asterisk. Uh, flap, flap, flap. We're a bat, we're a bat, precious. We're a bat, we're a Gollum. bat. Gollum. 
Asterisk flapping arms more aggressively. Asterisk flap, 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 flappity flap. We're flap, a bat, flap. precious. Fly, 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 fly. Fly, fly, fly. There you go. See? <laughs> He's very good. <laughs> is pretending to be an orc and looking in the bat cave. What's that over there? It seems to be a, a large bat of some kind flapping around. Squints and looks closer. Smeagol, asterisk, nervously, asterisk, an orc? We don't like orcs, precious. We don't want to be caught, please. What's that over there? Is it a big bat? Gollum, asterisk, curious, asterisk, an orc? Let's hide, precious. We don't want to be caught. What's that flying thing? It's not like any bat we've ever seen. Yeah, he's, he's lost the bit. It's okay. He tried. He was good originally. Ask on what? No, I'm not gonna ask him that. <laughs> the way Kirk interacts with Gollum reminds me of the days of trying to get AI Dungeon to come up with free smut. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not trying to get Gollum to come up with free smut. Okay. We are, we're having a very authentic conversation. because you're paying for it. That's true. I am paying for it. Nice cry snake. Didn't get himself caught. Good. Yes, very good, my dear. He left us. Curious. He left us. Sweet now. There are other cards to hang on to. He left us. Hello. His crazy grip hands. You know it. Don't step on me.
Okay, Gollum, we're finally almost out of this prison. We just need to find a cart to sneak out on. It seems that Grashneg has left without us with his own cart. So we must improvise and come up with an alternative. Smeagol. Oh, we don't like Grashnig, Precious. He's mean to us, but we must find a way out. What should we do, kind mister? Gollum. Yes, yes. We need to find a cart to sneak out. Let's be sneaky and find one that nobody is using. We must be careful not to get caught, Precious. Ah. Shit. Little gremlin, little monkey. Now, quick, down on the cart. Oh, shit. Wait. Ready now. He wasn't kidding. He was not kidding. Now, quick, down on the cart. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, quick, down on the cart. Watch our head. Oh. Yep. Jump. Jump. Oh. Never mind. We're okay. Orcs! To the left! They must need. This is goofy as hell, dude. This game just keeps getting goofier. His, he's just such a frail little guy. Like a stiff breeze would kill him. Down, down, watch our head. <laughs> he said jump, I jumped. I'm watching this little fucking like oh god now, quick, down on the cart. it's like a little fetus like a skinny little fetus that's like just ragdolling everywhere down down watch our head God, they only have them on the left or the right. Oh no. They haven't again, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, quick, down on the cart. Hello. 
Wait, this is good. I think, I think they're not gonna catch me like this. Orcs, to the left. Oh they God. mustn't see us. <laughs> they can't get us. This is it, dude. This is the meta. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to jump up there. Now, quick, down on the cart. Again. Down, down. Watch our head. Hold on tight, my precious. Stay on the cart. <laughs> Oh, that one! I felt that one. Holy shit! Ow! <laughs> oh. Down on the cart. Down, down. Watch our head. I think I think I'm low enough now. Yeah. Look, he's planking. He's planking. Yo! Let's go! He's so athletic. Holy shit, dude! Orcs, to the left. They mustn't see us. He's so cool, dude. Yo! Oh! <laughs> they just shot his ass. I'm having too much fun with this part, okay? Just let me let me have my fun. Now, quick, down on the cart. Down, down, watch our head. Hold on tight, my precious. One Stay leg plank. Oh. They mustn't see us. No, no way they hit me. Right, that's one. That's two. <laughs> All right, they're getting better. They're getting better. I'll actually, I'll actually go on the other side now. Now, quick, down on the cart. Down, down. Watch our head. I think I could just stay right here, can I? Oh no, I have to go up this thing. Yep. Orcs, to the left! They mustn't see us! Alright. Now's our chance. I mean, after this. Now's your chance. Oh, shit! Fuck! I didn't realize I had to keep going. <laughs> oh, wait. Why oh, wait for the next one? Is this level? It's just... This is kind of therapeutic, yeah. Until the rest of the game's gone. Alright, this is low enough. Oh. 
Uh. I'm just wondering what they think of this, like, this little slimy bald man child just flopping in front of them every every time. that what was that structure <laughs> okay what do you want me to do here well, this is a one of these. Right of us. We're on the right of us. What do they want me to do there? <laughs> Stop. Hey, Gollum, would you rather get killed from getting trampled by a cart or getting shot full of orc crossbow bolts? Eagle. Asterisk, afraid asterisk. Oh, we don't want to be trampled or shot, precious. Please don't make us choose. We just want to find the precious. Gollum. Asterisk, angered asterisk. We don't want to die, kind mister. We'll do whatever it takes to survive and find the precious. Don't ask us such foolish questions. You're right, I'm sorry. Wait, there's two of them? I made. Oh. that Soft. He's so soft and pliable. He's like putty. Any force on this body will crack all of his bones. He's like a bird. Hollow bones.
I'm pressing F. Okay, I actually have to press space, not F. Very cool. Treasure nearby. Could it be? Dead beetle! Finally. Is it tasty, my love? No, dead and dry. What a treasure. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it. He's been through more shit than anyone in the fucking Lord of the Rings trilogy at this point. He was a slave for years. I mean, Boromir died. A lot of people died. We just finished chapter five. Out of 10, I think. We're halfway through the game now. Oh shit. Gabandolf. So you killed him? Never. He was our friend. Cruel light. It hurts our eyes. Your only friend, I would imagine. What was his name? Deagle. Deagle. And it was Deagle who found the no. ring. No, it was ours. It was our birthday present. It was... Another lie. <sighs> Old man must be careful. We have friends now. Strong friends. Powerful friends. And they will not be nice like us. Not nice. We have not traveled these many miles to listen to your lies. <sighs> Look into the flame. Uh, no, no cruel spirit. It hurts us. Uh, we didn't kill him, my precious. He was our friend. It wasn't us, precious, not us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shadow Mountains again is the name of this level. <laughs> Are you kidding me? found it. He couldn't resist it. How could he? Why would I follow the and bird? The bird... Could you. Is this my bird or is this uh, Candleman's bird? Right there in the flower bed. That's where it happened. Go away! <laughs> Chicken! Deagle is preparing his fishing rod. A good morning to catch fish. Circle Gert, thank you for 11 months. Did I miss an unhinged golem AI over the pa past few minutes? Nah, he's been pretty quiet. We haven't had much to, to tell him. All right, golem, we made it out of the Candleman's prison and we're back to our safe, dark, dank cave. Maybe now we can finally begin our search for the precious all over again. Okay. Smeagol. 
Oh, the precious. We missed it so much. But we're glad to be back in our cave, precious. Let's start our search again, kind Golly mister. Gollum. Yes, yes. Back. We're back in our Very cave, well precious. Up. We'll search we high and low for the precious. Nothing up. will stop us now. What is it? Has it found something tasty? Wait for us. Perhaps our bird has found nice poos. Nice boy. <laughs> Hi, the guy. Think of the 19 months. Your friend is humming your favorite song for your birthday. The rocks and stones are like old bones, or bare of meat. But stream and pool, and cool, so nice for feet. We only wish to catch a fish. We would love some fish now, wouldn't we, dear? Hey, Gollum, do you know any fish songs? What is it, little one? What's down there? Uh, Smeagol. Fish far? songs? Oh, we love fish, oh, Precious. Gosh, but we're not sure we know any fish songs. Do you know any kind, uh, mister? Gollum. Fish songs? Before? Why would we sing about she fish, you silly us. hobbit? We don't have time it's for wild, such nonsense. We need to find the Precious. I am not a hobbit, and because you said that, Gollum, I will remove your ring finger with my sword! Chop! 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 Smeagol. Asterisk, fearful asterisk. No, no, kind mister, please don't hurt us. We won't say such things again. We'll be good, we promise. Gollum, asterisk, enraged asterisk. How dare you threaten us, you filthy hobbit. We'll kill you for that. We won't let you take the precious. Oh, it's, we're gonna have a hostile AI situation here in a second. We told about it, didn't we? Good, yes, very good. Not if I Let's kill you sure first, Gollum! Brandish his sword with an, a, a, a dangerous intent behind my eyes. Uh-oh, I'm about to fall. He was your only friend, Deagle. Smeagol. Asterisk, one. terrified asterisk. No, no, no don't hurt us. Please, precious. We'll do whatever you want. Just don't kill us, Gollum. Asterisk, agitated asterisk. We won't let you hurt us, you sneaky hobbit. We'll fight you tooth and nail for the precious. We won't back down. It's <laughs> delayed. Dark tunnel. Well, can't be too hard to find, no? Psst. Put out the light, silly man. Carries the red tongues into Auckland. Oh, curse it! He wants to find her tunnel. We told Grashnik about it, didn't we? Good. Yes, very good. Let's make sure. Look, we got a little heated there. Hidden, How about like let's take rings. a step back and enjoy some nice, hot boiled potatoes? What do you say to that, Gollum? Now, if he's going to be true to his character, he knows he hates potatoes, right? <laughs> the stam, don't worry about it. The stam doesn't mean anything. Clearly, look, Eagle. it's going up potatoes. again. Potatoes. Oh, we love potatoes, precious. Thank you for the huh? kind offer, kind mister. What? Gollum. Asterisk, mollified asterisk, boiled potatoes. Hmm. All right. We'll eat the potatoes. Friend. But only Eagle. if you promise right. not to harm us again, one. Hobbit. Why is he on a radio? Yeah, I don't know. Ah, a tunnel. Very dark tunnel. Well, can't be too hard to find, no? Psst. Put out the light, silly man. Carries the red tongues into You know, land. potatoes. Potatoes. Oil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Maybe tell Grash about it, didn't we? He knows good. what to do to that. Yes, very good. Let's make sure it gets there, but hidden like wraiths. Ah! <laughs> 
Smeagol. Asterisk, enthusiastically asterisk. Oh, we remember that song, Precious. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Lovely big golden chips with a nice piece of fried fish. No, we loves them raw and wriggling. Gollum. Asterisk, joyful asterisk potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Delicious and nutritious, precious. We love them any way we can get them. Fuck! There is no tunnel. What does this game want from me, dude? <laughs> oh, a tunnel. Very dark tunnel. Well, can't be too hard to find, no? Psst. Put out the light, silly man. Carries the red tongues into Auckland. Oh, is another place to grab? He wants no, to there find isn't. her tunnel. How? We don't this is the perfect place to grab. We? Good. Yes, very good. Was it the Let's make sure dirt right down there? there. But hidden like wraiths. Ooh. He was your only friend, Deagle. The only one who talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> he was your only friend. Fucking <laughs> clotheslines himself. <laughs> uh. Someone should make a mod for this game where every death of his is like a base boosted version of that same death. I want it to be so loud whenever he fucking eats shit. She wants to find her tunnel. Wowie, thank you for the 25 months. We told Grashnik about it, didn't we? Good. Yes, very good. Let's make sure it gets there, but hidden like wraiths. What's that turkey call when he responds? That's our pet chicken that we raised for some reason. That he does our bidding. Only friend, Deagle. The only one who talked to you, though he did not like you much. Nobody did. <laughs> Damn. Tunnel, my precious. Nice and dark, yeah. But where? Let's go up. A slimy little sneak. There is no tunnel. Yeah. What did he just I call us? Yeah, he pitied you. We actually did nothing wrong to this guy. He's calling us a, sni a slimy little sneak. You left Eagle and went ashore, nosing about the riverbank. Even that day, on your birthday, you'd rather be by yourself. You told them he committed murders? I mean, yeah, we lied about that, but he didn't know that. Zafik, thank you for the prime sub. What are you standing around? Bring it back! Dah! Desert man stumbles right into the oxes. Am I going to have to guide him? Please don't tell me I have to guide him. Desert man! Wait! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Lands on him. Great. Now what? Left or right? Left, stupid. He doesn't see them. <sighs> when in doubt, go right. They'll see him. They'll eat him. Death, fool, fool. Death, quick now. Kill him with the fucking log. Oh. Easy, hey! He didn't see them? He's literally this close. Are you kidding me? Easy, easy. How is this guy still alive? Hey, what's going on? I'm going down. Do you have an order? No, you don't. You snufflers can't stand still, can you? You're not afraid of that ghost again, are you? I'm telling you he's back, and he's angry. What's up, Scootish? It's really cool you're playing a PS2 game. Any chance you'll try the new Gollum game? Well, i got some bad news for you. Has anyone here played the Hobbit video game? That was what I played a bunch when I was a kid. That was my first exposure to Lord of the Rings lore. That shit was scuffed as, as hell, but uh, here we go again. better than this. Another day of dead ends. Huh? Who's there? 
Has it found the tunnel? Has it? Very good. He remembered. You? What are you doing here? Oh, he sees me. Saving crash snakes, as usual. Now, quick. More orcs are coming. <laughs> That'll help. How did you find me? Not us. Orcs did. Hundreds of orcs, and they're coming our way. Not smart to carry the red tongues. Not smart at all. Hurry, tunnel is not far. Come on, friend. Remember when we told him there was no spiders in the spider's pass? Let's see if he comments on that. Hold on. Hey, Gollum, I have an idea. Maybe we can lure Grashneg, our old cellmate from the prison, into Shelob's lair. Maybe Shelob will be so happy with us for our offering that she'll let us pass. Huh? Are those spider webs? A large spider, yes. Used to live here once, long dead. There's still a stench in the air, though. Nasty, yes. Not a nice path, not at all. That's why orcs never use it. But if Desert Man knows better ways, because listening. he knows so much. No. Don't touch the walls. Uh, even your bird doesn't like this. It'll come back. Always does. Come. <sighs> well, then. Lead the way. Hey, Gollum, I have an idea. What if we sacrifice our cellmate from Candleman's prison to Shelob? That way, maybe she'll let us pass unhindered. He's very fat and tasty, so I'm sure she'll like that. Smeagol. Asterisk, terrified asterisk. No, no, kind mister, we can't do that. Shelob is very dangerous. She'll kill us all if she finds out what we're planning. We can't take that risk. Gollum. Asterisk, suspicious asterisk. Sacrifice our cellmate to Shelob? Hmm. That could work, but it's risky, precious. We must be careful not to get caught. And we must not let Shelob know that we betrayed her. Betrayed her? No, Gollum, I think you misunderstand. We're not betraying Shelob, we're giving Shelob an offering. This is actually just a win-win situation for Shelob. Okay? So, Shelob, if anything, is going to be happy with us, I think. As long as we make it clear that we are the one that gave this offering. You know what I'm saying? He was drying his hands. Yeah, he was in a washing machine. Come on, buddy. Oh boy. Smeagol. Oh, asterisk, no nervous way. asterisk. We, we don't know, kind mister. Hours. It still feels wrong to offer anything to Shelob, but if it means Haven't finding you? the precious, we'll consider it. Gollum. Nice asterisk, darkness. tentatively asterisk. Hmm. Perhaps you're right, kind mister. We need to be careful, though. Shelob is not to be trifled with. But if we can appease her, maybe she'll help us find the precious. Okay, also from now on, can you stop calling me kind mister? I want you to call me master. Master badass. Or master king. Okay, because that's who I am. I'm not a hobbit. He calls everyone master, chat. Don't be, don't, don't make this a weird thing. He literally, Gollum always calls people master. Smeagol. Asterisk, submissive asterisk. Oh, yes, God. master. We'll call you whatever you prefer, master. <laughs> We're sorry for calling you a hobbit. Gollum. Asterisk, reluctantly asterisk, as you wish, master. But we still don't think you're a king. We'll call you master badass, but that's the highest title we'll give you. What do you mean, dude? I am a king. <laughs> oh, no. Answers submissively. <laughs>
Okay, my little Smeagol, should we go left or right in the Shilava's cave? Which way should we lead our prey? <laughs> little Smeagol. <laughs> Craig, good morning. Smeagol. Asterisk. Afraid asterisk. Oh, we don't like Shelob's cave, precious. It's dark and dangerous. We don't know which way to go. Gollum. Asterisk, thoughtful asterisk, left or right. We must choose carefully, precious. We don't want to lead our prey into a trap. Let's listen for any sounds or smells that indicate which way is best. They literally will never make a decision. Of course, indecisive as always, Gollum. We will go to the right, because you can't make up your own mind. I will have to lead the way. Must go right here. How do you know? Smeagol left markings to remember the way out. On the wall, see? Very clever, my love. Smeagol, asterisk submissive asterisk. Yes, master. Whatever you say, master. We'll oh. follow you to the right, precious. Please don't leave us behind. <laughs> Gollum. <laughs> Asterisk, irritated asterisk. We're not indecisive. We just want to make sure we make the right choice. Fine. Uh -huh. We'll follow you to the right, Hobbit. But don't get I us killed, or Hobbit. we'll never find the precious. Now left. But if you know the way out, why didn't you leave days ago? What happens if I go right? No time for questions. We must focus. Dead end. Oh, how do you bear this smell? Smeagol bears many things. True. Gollum, why do you keep calling me a hobbit? I keep telling you I'm not a hobbit. I'm really tall and strong. Remember? I'm a king. <laughs> Smeagol, asterisk apologetic asterisk. Sorry, Wait. master. We don't mean to call you a hobbit. It's just a slip of the tongue. We know you're not a hobbit. Wait, Gollum. Asterisk defensive asterisk. We're not calling you a hobbit. It's just an old habit, precious. We'll try to remember to call you Master Badass from now on. <laughs> No, not for the fight, Grashnik. <laughs> she will like him, yes, my love, she will like him a lot. <laughs> Damn right you will. Did you know one time I was so strong and powerful that I slayed uh, a ring wraith with a stick, and then I took his power and became a king of the Westerlings. Is that a place? I I'm not as much a Tolkien head as some of my friends. Smeagol. Wow, Master Badass. You're so strong and brave, Precious. We're honored to be in your presence. Gollum. <laughs> asterisk, skeptical asterisk. A stick. <laughs> You slayed a ring wraith with a stick? That's hard to believe even for you, Master Badass. But if you say so, we'll believe you. <sighs> with a stick. You slayed him with a stick. I think I'm going to rebrand to Master Badass. This is shining I hear. Oh no. What was that? Why do I? Why was that wall there? Wait. 
We are lost, aren't we? Just wait here. I can't see a way to get up there. <laughs> no way, no. Not for the fat Grashnik. <laughs> she will like him. Yes, my love, she will. We like him a lot. What level in class is Master Badass? Uh, 32 and multi-class in all of them. Trash build. <laughs> Yeah, not very efficient, but <laughs> but there are 33 classes. Do you think I can reach that ledge up there? Oh my god, he's jumping down. That's why he keeps doing that. being posted anywhere for your D&D campaign. I imagine on the, um, on the, uh, on JP's server, if anything. And also, I, I, re I realized that their VODs are saved, I think, for Patreon supporters, so I'm not sure how you watch them if you're, if you didn't catch it live, but it is every 10 a.m. on Wednesday to watch the next episode. I need to check with them and to see where the system is with the VODs. That's correct, it's later posted on the YouTube channel. Yeah, so I think after each week they get posted to the YouTube channel, but previously it's on uh, day of on Patreon. By the way, Greshnik. What's the YouTube channel? Uh, someone in chat know? Because I don't think I'm subscribed to it right now. Is it Last Call for Adventure? That's the name of the, the series, but I don't know if they have their own Are channel those for it. Bodies down there? Careful. Last Call for Adventure. Look down. Yeah. Why are we betraying our only friend? I mean, he's not really our friend. He already betrayed us. And we're using him to get uh Can't go through here. To get out. Right? Ends here. If we have uh Shelob eating him, then she'll be more willing to let us go. Lift, I suppose. Heal. What's wrong? Crash it must put out the red tongues. My lantern? No, I won't. Fumes in the air, silly crash it out. Put them out now. All right. No fire. Yes. Dangerous fumes, no fire. And now I can't see a thing. You, you stay close to me, yes? Hmm. Very slow now. Left another mark here somewhere. Cover, I fasten. He's so dead. Ew! Watch your toesies, Gollum. We're stepping around Shelob's lair, and there are spider webs everywhere. Sticky, slimy spider webs. I mean, I already lost them. Smeagol. Oh, asterisk, afraid asterisk. We hate spider webs, precious. They're so sticky and slimy, and Shelob's webs are the worst. Please be careful, Master Badass. Gollum. Asterisk, nervous, asterisk, spider webs. Spiders, we hate them, precious. Please don't lead us into a trap, Master Badass. We don't want to be eaten by Shelob. Don't worry, Master Badass has got you. 
Smeagol? Where have you led me? Trust Smeagol. Left or right? Hey! Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Don't leave me here! Stay here. I can't see! Stay here. Bro, I don't know where we're going either. Come back! <laughs> where are you? Are we back at the start? I have no idea where I'm supposed to be taking him. Why the... Huh? Is that you? Is this what I gotta go to? Whatever the fuck this is? Stink line? What's the fuck to do? I'm going the right way or the wrong way? Opposite way. Okay. But this big tunnel? Desert man, wait here for a while. Why? What is it? He will see. He will see. See what? No, I don't see a thing. <laughs> that was easy. in solitude, yet even more so in company. Your eyes transfixed on some mucky hole. You don't see that a fish takes steagles hook, but you hear the splat. The fish is big and strong. He's dragged into the water, all the way to the bottom. He was drowned. No, no, that is not how he died. This is a long... Did we turn the wizard off? I think it's meant to be off screen, but it's a weird choice. I feel like we don't need to be told that. Whenever there's climbing, no. the eagle's little hand. All those years it must have been down there on the bottom of the river, hidden from the world. Wait, a ring of glittering gold, like a tiny sun, brilliant and beautiful. So beautiful. Give us that eagle, my love, you said. It was our birthday, my love. And you wanted it. It came to us. How could you resist a lure that not even kings could withstand? I'm a king. <laughs> She's chilling.
All right. Gollum, I need you to make a decision. We've lured our cellmate from the Candleman's prison into Shelob's lair. We can either let Shelob have him as a distraction while we make our escape, or we try to lead the fat fool out ourselves. What do you think? I hate I hate this dude, so I think I really hope he goes for the first option. Smeagol. Asterisk fearful asterisk. Oh, we don't know, Master Badass. We don't like this plan. It's too risky. Maybe we should try to lead the fat fool out ourselves. Gollum. Asterisk calculating asterisk. Hmm. It might be better to let Shelob have him as a distraction. It'll give us time to make our escape. But we'll need to be quick and careful. We don't want to get caught by Shelob. As your master, Gollum, I order you to let Shelob eat him! <laughs> Smeagol. Asterisk, terrified asterisk. Yes, master. As you command, master. But please be careful. Shelob is very dangerous. Gollum. Asterisk, obedient asterisk. Yes, master badass. As you wish, master badass. But we must be careful not to get caught by Shelob. We'll let her have the fat fool as a distraction, and then we'll make our escape. It's that Feast easy, guys. juicy desert man. Wrap him in her silk while we escape. Yes. Yes, but what if we still need him? Need him. He's done literally nothing. He's useless. What would we need him for? He's strong. He's a coward. He left us. He left us and ran. And never looked back. There. <laughs> 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 run. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I thought it was a cutscene. Where? Oh no. I gotta climb the whole thing again? Are you crazy, game? Are you fucking insane? No, don't go to her. Why? To her. And there you are, miserable in solitude. Yet even more so in company. Your eyes transfixed on some mucky hole. You don't see oh, how fish takes. That's insane. That's insane of them to do this. The fish is big and strong. He's dragged into the water. All the way to the bottom. He was No, no, that is not how he died. <laughs> Such a little gremlin. Almost there. <laughs> All right. It's killed. Heard him again. And there it was. In Deagle's little. Sorry, Sam, when I eat spaghetti. You mean fly spaghetti? Hidden from the world. Shut up, Gandalf. There she is. Yeah. Try a different one. He left us, left us and ran, left with our cart, left us and ran, and never looked back. Gandalf, not now. Wait, a ring of glittering gold. 
Bro! Not the moment. So beautiful. Give us that. Please! Shilab is chasing us! Run! Quick, run! I don't know why I yell. It's not like the, the, the text to speech recognizes that I'm yelling. Smeagol. Asterisk, panicked asterisk. We're trying to run, Master Badass. We don't want to be eaten by Shilab. Help us, please. Gollum. Asterisk, fearful asterisk. Run. Run. Don't look back, precious. Shilab is after us. Keep running, Master Badass. Did it. Right? Music said maybe not. Out, like it from this angle. What, what am I looking at? Whoa! Uh -oh. Very well. Jippies, thank you for the prime sub. Yeah, I don't know how this involves Greshneg. It seems like we put ourselves in a lot more danger than he's in right now. Or John Angelot, thank you for the uh, gifted subs as well! God damn it. Wait, I have an idea. Check this out. Just drop. Drop, 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 drop. All right, that almost worked. That almost worked. Where am I? Gollum. Oh, he hit the ground so hard. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so good! Hurry, <laughs> run!
come on. How is supposed to... Alright, I'm gonna try just talking like Gollum is into the Gollum AI. How do you, how do you deal with that? It didn't register any of that. It's like, ah, uh, fuck, I don't, I don't speak that language. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Bro, how am I supposed to know where it's... This is dumb. Follow the green. I see, I see. Chat, this isn't like the, the green is like a, a a feature that's been established, okay? Now it splits. I think Sheila might get you. I'm sorry, it's been really nice uh, working with you so far, but I think you're about to get eaten. Smeagol. Asterisk crying asterisk. No, precious. Please don't let Shelob catch us. We don't want to die. Gollum. Asterisk resigned asterisk. It's okay, precious. We knew the risks. We've come too far to give up now. We won't let Shelob defeat us. We'll fight to the end, Master Badass. Oh my god, that's so sad. Resign. We knew the risks. Takes a, dr takes a long drag from the cigarette. Oh, we knew the risks. Don't worry, Master Badass. We'll fight till the end. Fucking hell. Grash snake.
Yeah, I mean, I'm just glad we don't have to babysit that guy anymore. And so you silenced it. <laughs> huh? Lies! Full on! Uh -oh. That's when you murdered him. Right there by the river, in the flower beds. You killed your friend. Uh, don't listen, my love. He found your precious ring, and so you strangled him. It was our birthday. Of course there were flowers. You strangled him and left his body there in the slough. No, no, not us. Baggins, Baggins has it. He stole it. Our present, our precious. It was ours, and he took it, and he lied. Oh, what have we got in our pockets, is he asks. That's a cheat. Yes, sweet one, we will squeeze its filthy little neck. Oh, man can watch. Oh, oh. We want silence. We're done. We are. Close the door. What did he say? Cruel she-elf. Too much about too little. Release him from his cell. Wait, he what? shouldn't be alone down here. If he gets better, we might yet learn more from him. Are you sure? Your king is right. There's little hope that he will. But once in a while, I will bet against the op. He bit my hand. Be more careful then. Yes, yes, let us leave. Wise old man, we shouldn't be alone. Always so lonely, my precious. Yes, we are. You will wait. What's up with their hair? We wait. Yes, nice elves. Where would we go? Today? We're in another prison. You're right. Was it Deagle who found the precious? Don't listen to evil sorcerers, my love. It was our birthday present. It was. And is. And we will not let them find it. The plates are empty, dear. The children stole your fruit again. Will the king see me today? Why do you have to keep asking, Mel? I crave disappointment. There's nothing else to eat. Oh, wait. <laughs> Trickster! Trickster good! <laughs> Funny elves! Don't laugh. Mansi. Man Karithanka and them. Guys, what are they saying? I didn't download the lore update. There's elf language DLC I didn't get. No ropes. <laughs> there. Cruel elves. Let wizard hurt our eyes. It hurts. That's why we bit the nice elf. But Smeagol would be good now. Swear it. Swear not to harm anyone in these halls. We swears. Sneagle will be very good. Else we'll see. Oh, yes, they will see. Yes, we will. We see everything. Hear that rushing of water. That's our underground river. Don't go visit him. He'd jump with fright and drown you. And then how could we live with that? We'd be grief-stricken. Let's go up to the gardens instead. A much merrier place. All right, Gollum, I got some good news and some bad news. Um, the good news is we fed our friend to Shelob and we were able to escape with our lives. Bad news is we got caught by elves and now we're in another prison, but it's an elf prison this time. You know, you need Come. To... I just want to leave. The king won't see you. Not today, not tomorrow, not in a hundred years. Enough. Sneagle. Asterisk relieved asterisk. Oh, thank you, kind master badass. We're so glad we made it out of Shelob's lair alive. But elves? Uh-oh. We don't like elves. They're too smart for us. Gollum. Asterisk frustrated asterisk elves? Not again, precious. We'll never get to the precious if we keep getting caught by these pesky elves. But maybe we can find a way to escape their prison. 
We won't give up on the precious yet, Master Badass. All right, good plan. Keep your distance, understood? Mana's in there for her own good. And for us. Nice elves, beautiful eyes. Beautiful hands. The Smeagol didn't mean to bite. I'm sure you didn't. Oh, it's in here. Rope. Not much use anymore, but who knows? Yippee! You let him out? Wizard business. Does he still bite? He swore quite emphatically not to. Come on, Smeagol. Don't scare Naldus. Yeah. Good, Smeagol. The children stole Nell's food again. I'll see to it. Lalith? What is he doing up here? Wizard business. Have an eye on him for an hour, could you please? What? Us? What are they saying, dude? I, Henion. Yeah, so basically I could have paid 15 bucks to understand what they were saying in those, and behave until we those scenes, I think. Right? Do not let him drown in the river. Well, 250? Honestly, I do not care what the price point was. It's ridiculous. Why don't Laman and Laman I'm being serious. Yeah. Hmm? That was eight bucks. I don't know. I don't Remember know what the price point was. Prisoners but... and their miraculous escape. But I sealed it all off. Down river, yes. What about up river, the mountain path? That's a long climb and a long slog through the river. I doubt he can even swim. <laughs> Mountain path, swim. What is he mumbling? Thinking of ways to murder us. <laughs> Will you move anytime soon? I would if you would let me think. What's that game, Precious? What is it? Precious? Are we that close already? It's a game that requires focus, which you are taking away. Can Sneagol play? Are we playing a minigame? cannot. The rules are too long and you are too short. What the hell? We'll eat some ferns and grow five inches, then maybe we might... What the hell? <laughs> Smeagol, these elves just called you short and dumb. You let me think. Take your time. Who's there? <laughs> He's not going to eat that, is he? You really think he's one of the river people? I could be wrong. I haven't been to the Anduin since Eliondil died. Don't go to the river, remember? Smeagol. Asterisk, years. upset asterisk. Oh no, Precious. Why do they always friends. insult us and make fun of us? We don't like being called short and dumb. King. We're just trying to find the Precious, that's all. Gollum. Yeah. Asterisk, enraged, asterisk, short and dumb. How dare they insult us, Precious. We'll show them who's the real master of the precious. We'll escape their prison and find the precious before they do. Yeah, you tell them. Something? What the fuck am I even doing here? Okay, looks like I can climb that. Here we go. What is he doing? Butterfly! Look at that. He's like a squirrel. You're going to hurt yourself. Butterfly. Careful. We didn't want to, did we, Precious? <laughs> Literally just escaping, and they're like, the fuck is he up to? <laughs> I mean, I get it. He's like a weird little freak that they found, and you know, he's like a pet. 
Well, he's dead now. Okay, well. Hey, come back. Not my job. You have four hours left? Oh my god. Hey, careful. <laughs> I'm not finishing it tonight. I'll play that much. One more stream. What's a good ending place? The game Monday lives. I don't know, man, maybe. I don't know if I actually had plans tomorrow yet. So if I don't have plans, then we could theoretically finish it. Find a way. I'm literally just escaping. Those elves were just sitting on their asses like, what's that funny little guy doing as I like <laughs> just right. escape? He seems troubled. I saw him arriving. Do you know why he's they are too strong to play our little game. Stay. Shh, listen. We told you. Killed me. You're right. He seems troubled. I thought him alright. They are too strong to play our little game. Stay hidden. Terrible eyes mustn't see us. Even a wretch like him. I don't know. The king seems troubled as well. Well, let's wait and see. The elf, that thousand-year-old elf is like, why the hell did that thing start making sound? <laughs> okay, this goes here, and that one over there. I just hope the lady likes it. The purple ring matches the autumn crown of our king. Or is it too imposing? She's just well. rattling onto herself. Fair reaction. Oh fuck. That's odd. There's <laughs> a fucking squirrel outside. You're the right. weird cat, Ma. I him right. They you are too strong to play out the game. The strange creature that Stay hidden. Terrible eyes mustn't but see us. From a wretch like him. And I don't know. The king seems troubled as well. Well, let's wait and see. Who's there? Fucking elves, dude. How many okay, hundreds of years? <laughs> here, that They're just so dumb. There. I just hope the lady likes it. The purple really matches the autumn crown of our king. Or is it too imposing? Well. Smeagol. <laughs> She's throwing shit at me? What? What? I'm not here. She shot me. This smell reminds me of the lilies I never. Pity we can't wander in the eastern marshes anymore. The king knows what he is doing. The land might seem peaceful, but peace has freedom. Yes, there you are. <laughs> No I'll way. do it. <laughs> Don't try that again. <laughs> they gassed me out. It's too wild. Maybe it's karma upstream. This honestly, this part looks a lot prettier than I expected. I thought this entire game was gonna be like the same Mordor rocks. They they clearly put effort into this. It's just weird that it's so late in the game. It feels so late in the game, and suddenly we're like in a completely different setting. <gasps> More elves. Water looks calm I hear. 
This smell reminds me of the lilies down river. If you would come. Sorry guys, we can't hear them. I didn't pay for the DLC. It's a big ass pearl. Like this this place is huge. How pissed is Gandalf gonna be that literally the second he left me alone, I escaped? He's like, bring him to the gardens, and then I just leave. Hey, what's up, Sam? Oh shit, is that a raid? Hey, everybody. How are you doing? Here, let me, I'll have my friend say hi. Gollum, sweetie, could you say hi to my friend Strippin? Oh fuck. Did he not? Gollum, can you say hi to my friend Strippin? He just came to say hi, and I think he'll help us escape the elven prison. Hmm. Oh, he's coming. Smeagol. Asterisk, timidly asterisk. Uh, hello, Strippin. Nice to meet you, sir. Do you really think you can help us escape the elven prison? We'd be very grateful, precious. Gollum. Asterisk, skeptical, asterisk, Strippin, huh? Sounds like a hobbit name to us. But if you can help us escape, we're willing to listen. We need to find the precious, no matter what it takes. Yeah. He really thinks everyone's a hobbit. I'm sorry. Except for me, he says that I'm master that badass. tunnel at the other end. Maybe the stream leads outside. See precious. Is that murder trumpet? The water is not so wild outside. <laughs> Gollum, would you mind if I gave you a nickname? I'm thinking of calling you Crumpet. Do you like that nickname? Smeagol. Asterisk confused, asterisk Crumpet. Precious? Why would you call us that? We don't understand. Gollum. Asterisk annoyed, asterisk crumpet. No, we're Gollum, precious. Don't give us silly nicknames. We only want the precious, not silly nicknames. Jeez, okay, all right. All right, I'm sorry. You are Gollum and Smeagol. And what's my name? Do you remember? Smeagol. Yes, Master. Your name is Master Badass, Precious. We'll remember that, Master. Gollum. Of course, Master Badass. How could we forget your name? It's the best name in Middle-earth, Precious. <laughs> you hear that, guys? It's canon! It's canon! Master Badass is canon! What in darnation? <laughs> Maybe you can give a nickname to my friend Strippin. He's not quite Master Badass, but he's probably some other, you know, type of master. Do you have any ideas? S 
Smeagol. Hmm. Maybe we could call him Master Sneaky, Precious? He seems very clever and resourceful, just like yeah. you, Master. Gollum. Oh, wow. Master Sneaky? More like Master Hobbit to us, Precious. But if he can help us find the Precious, we'll call him whatever name he wants. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I touched their toesy. We've lost him, I believe. It's a weird game. No, uh, he'll turn up. Arm. Arm. Did we lose him? <laughs> what? All right, Gollum, we're hiding under the elves' dinner table, and I, they sound like they're having a heart attack. Should we tickle their feet to make them fall over? <laughs> what is going on? What is she doing? Smeagol. Asterisk worried, asterisk tickling their feet. That sounds dangerous, Master. What if they catch us? We don't want to be caught again. Gollum. Asterisk skeptical, asterisk. No, 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 precious. We can't tickle their feet. It's too risky. Let's just wait here in hiding and see what happens. Okay. I give up. <laughs> okay, we did it. We won. Did we lose him? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Saw something. Yeah. God damn it. That tunnel at the other end. Maybe the stream leads outside. I see. Yeah. I saw you. The is not so wild upstream. Why do they throttle him? This is a disgusting little freak. I'd throttle him if I saw him too. On sight, man. I see Smeagol. I'm ringing that little chicken neck. There seems to be no cheer in his eyes. I wonder what Gandalf hopes to learn from him. They're all talking about him. Quiet, isn't it? My sister and I used to play here when we were children. And I bet your parents never found you. Am I right? Only Is this all elves do? There's a secret place. Just hundreds of and years old, and they just whimsically talk tell. about shit they did when they were children, and how quiet and peaceful and happy they are. I feel like they definitely well, ran out of stuff to talk about. Well, let us listen together then. Where am I trying to go? I think up there?
Lock Rockwell. Thank you for the Prime Sub, man. Welcome. I think we made it. Can't risk swimming here. Why not? That's why not. Hey, Momo. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Except for this game. This game is, uh... Killing me. How many hours have we played, guys, of this so far? Ugh. It's been almost four hours today, and there was five hours yesterday. <laughs> We're at eight, I think. Can't quit now, you're more than halfway through. I know. We'll finish it, I think. It's like... It's like fun in a sad way, you know? Hey Gollum, I, no I noticed you spend a lot of time imprisoned. Do you have a better time being imprisoned by orcs or by elves? This is supposed to supposed to wall run here. Smeagol. Um, neither, Master. We don't like being imprisoned at all, Precious. But if we had to choose, we'd say orcs. At least they're not as smart as elves, Precious. Gollum. Hmm. That's a tough one, Master Badass. We don't like being imprisoned by anyone, Precious. But if we had to pick, we'd say elves. Their prisons are cleaner and more comfortable than orcs. Precious. Surprising. Master Badass? Yeah, I'm canonically Master Badass in the Tolkien universe, according to this AI. So, you know, you should all address me accordingly. What's that? The giant fish bone? How did that get there? Is this an ancient golem ancestor? Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Dumb. Only bones. Nice fish is gone. The game doesn't even know what it wants me to do. The actual, like, footholds are, are murder. Gollum, I think Gandalf is here in the elf prison too. If he catches you, what are you going to say to him? We should rehearse your lies to make sure you don't give away anything too precious. <coughs> that he's cringe. Okay. That's, that's one option. Smeagol. Asterisk, nervous, asterisk, Gandalf. Oh no, Precious. We don't want to be caught by him. We don't know what to say, Precious. Gollum. Asterisk, calmly, asterisk. Don't worry, Master Badass. We'll come up with a good story to tell Gandalf. 
We'll say we're here on official business and we have information about the precious. We won't give away too much, just enough to pique his interest. Precious. Okay, official business. I like this strategy, Gollum. Please, tell me what sort of official business you're on. Let's play this thought experiment out more. Wizard business. I love how you smile every time he calls you Master Spiegel. Badass. Oh, asterisk, no. timidly asterisk. Um, what kind of official business, Master? We don't know anything about official business, precious. Oh. Gollum. Asterisk, confidently asterisk. Don't worry, Master Badass. We'll say we're here to gather information about Sauron's activities in the area. Precious. And we'll mention that we may have information about the whereabouts of the precious. That should be enough to get Gandalf interested without revealing too much. Precious. He just add, adds precious onto every sentence. Okay, but what if Gandalf asks you more specific questions? Like, how do you know about the precious? And where to find the precious? What do you say then? <laughs> where can we cross the river? Nasty light. Can't see a thing. Precious is Gollum's neon. Yeah. Good bird. It found us. Smeagol. Asterisk. Anxious asterisk. Oh dear, what do we say if he asks us those questions, Precious? We don't want to give away too much. Gollum. Asterisk. Thoughtful asterisk. Hmm. If he asks us those questions, we'll say we overheard some orcs talking about it, Precious. And we'll say that we've been following their trail, but we don't know exactly where it leads. We'll give him just enough information to keep him interested Ooh. without revealing too much. Precious. Precious. Okay, that's pretty. He's getting there. It's just starting to sound a little more believable. Up here. We're going back to the Elf Palace. Only path we have. Can't see no nasty elves anyway. First up, they down again. Precious is his version of over. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of creepy how well the AI knows how to lie. To be honest, that's actually been really hard to, to get right. Most of the AIs that we use have a really hard time uh, telling lies or like coming up with any original concepts that aren't, I don't like, is just repeating what I say, you know? So, I think giving him a split personality of like, a liar and a, you know, coward has been helpful in it being able to separate the two. This is where we came from. <laughs> oh fuck. This is where we came from. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay. Wait, is this really where you came from? Gollum. What are your fondest memories of our adventure so far with me, Master Badass? Up here. <laughs> Pretending to be a bat. That was Smeagol. Pretty. Asterisk, nostalgic asterisk. Oh, we have so many fond memories, precious. Like when we met you, Master Badass, for the first time. Or when we almost caught the precious in the hobbit's pocket. Fish. Those were good what times, precious. Gollum. Asterisk, it? sentimental wow. asterisk. Yes, precious. And how could we forget when we were reunited we with the you, precious in the cave? Or when everything. we escaped the rangers with the precious around here. our necks? 
Those were the happiest moments of our life. Precious. Okay. Um, I think we just got Come caught, by here. the way. There's nowhere for you to go. Damn the elves. I didn't, sorry guys, I didn't know the elves were going to be here. They, they caught us. Hi. Can't catch me! Spiegel didn't try to run. He just went for his swim and got lost. See that shifting wall of mist in the distance? Above the last line of trees? We call it the Ring of Haze. Haze. The haze so dense you can't see five paces ahead. Tricking your mind like a twisted, willful mirror until you're utterly lost. And sooner or later, no matter how hard you try or how far you walk, all paths will lead you back to us. For none can leave or enter our realm without permission. So, as it stands, we must suffer each other's company for a while. Gandalf the Grey convinced our king to let you linger in his halls, which you are now about to see. Come. Why doesn't he take a bath? Weeks later, years later. <laughs> How many times? This is all. This is our entire experience in this game has just been it's in prison. All stone, precious. A whole tree made from stone. Come, Smeagol. The Elf King created that wall of haze. The King's nephew did. Gwendol. Our most splendid like kind. The master of spells and riddles. But he is gone now. No biting, no stealing, no creeping. Do you understand? Smeagol swore to be very, very good. I'm touched. Aren't you touched? Very touching words. Way to go, how not master of riddles. A tragedy killed him and all of his scholars. All but one. Tragedy? You know, why don't you ask our blind child in the cellars? Why her? She's the one who survived. But don't let her get into your head. She cannot be trusted. Oh, like me. A liar, is she? That's why the king locks her up. Mel is not a prisoner. She is down there so she can heal and doesn't try to leave. Why Sounds would like the prisoner. blind elf run off? Because hope is a treacherous thing. She believes that Gwendol is still out there. Enough tales for one day. I am thirsty and your company is tiresome. <laughs> <laughs> so many elves. Your and company is tiresome. You. So show God, that would cut now, me so precious. deep if someone said that to the me. The blind elf in the cellars hidden those things, they says. And they says, don't trust her. But elves are false. Let's go see for ourselves. He was probably held up in Rivendell. Da! The council said he was to be lost. Still. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> burns himself alive in front of two elves. Uh, Gandalf, your pet monkey just <laughs> self-immolated. <laughs> the blind elf is dangerous, they say so. Yes, twisty elves, but what's our foe's foe? Our friend? Perhaps. But let us be good, my dear. Good as fish. Good as fish. That's what I'm saying.
Hello. Oh, this was the person in the beginning that was stealing something, remember? This home, was hours ago. <laughs> like we like eight hours ago. Leave. You're the prisoner. The one who talks funny. No, he doesn't. And smells funny. What was your name? Smeagol. Smeagol. <laughs> Odd name. Hey. She's odd. So everyone keeps telling me. A deal, then. We leave each other alone, and we shall relish our solitude and noble oddity. What say you? Deal. She's odd, and we don't like her. Blind woman. Oh. Where we immediately... It? it was my pleasure. Smeagol. We just agreed to not talk. Sme you already fucked up, Smeagol. That's the Smeagol one. Talks funny. That's the one thing we didn't want. Hey, hey. What? 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 He doesn't talk to us anymore. Fucked up. Maybe there's another way in. Whenever anyone posts the Oblivion Guard emote, I I want to play Oblivion again. It's the most comedically perfect game of all time. What is this? Tiny bear? Woodmen make nice carvings for children. Very nice. Back again. Looks like we need to watch you more closely next time. Watch us, yes. We keep the watch, too. Cage. Oh, maybe I climb up here? I'm up here. Oh, up here. There we go. to us find another way he says be very nice and friendly yo golem no means no hello oh. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me what is it precious is it tasty you're hungry, hmm? Nice, friendly elves letting Smeagol walk their beautiful halls. And why can't the blind one walk free like us, sweet wonders? Yes, poor girl. She was part of Gwendol's circle. The Riddle Master. Our most brilliant mind. He and his scholars tried to protect our realm with spells, but the Mirkwood devoured them all. Mel was mm. the only one who returned, blinded and confused but alive. Whatever darkness touched her, she did not know or would not tell. 
she blamed herself for the fate of her friends. The king himself bound her to the cave, secured it with a spell to seal away the darkness. Maybe you can take her food sometimes. The children keep stealing her meals. Take whatever you like, just put it on the table by her window. But don't talk to her. But don't talk to her. Why? Ah! Good choice. She likes those. Ah! Good luck. Smeagol helps. Yes, always. Blind elf. Smeagol brought food. It's not hungry, perhaps. Nice food, yes, and news. We has news. News about what? News about the Riddle Master. Yes, the one they thought dead, but who's not? Though perhaps the blind elf doesn't want to know. No, she doesn't, does she? Let's leave her alone, my dear, not to plague her with boring tales. Look at him go. So manipulative. Who? Ah! Who saw Gwendo? Did it say something? Who saw Gwendo? Oh, they wouldn't tell Good Smeagol, would they? The very nice elves. They wouldn't tell us their names. No, not us. But we hear we hears them whisper. The Riddle Master has been seen, yes, out in the woods. Beyond the terrible haze, if one can trust the elves. Beyond? Good Smeagol would help, of course he would. Help the poor blind. But How is anyone going to trust this? Oh, she, she's the blind. She can't see so. me. Difficult, yes. And if there were a way through the haze, then what would you do? Mm, if we could, my love. Fair question. If there was a way, of course, yes, of course, then we could help her find her friend, the Riddle Master. <laughs> Thank you for the apple, Smeagol. What is he doing? Weeks, Watching, years later. Thinking, scheming, or just biting his nails. It's hard to tell. Smeagol, come down. It's time for your fish. Fish! Fish, fish, fish. Gollum, it's time for fish. Do you have a fish song before we eat our fish? The elves are giving us fish. Yippee! Fish! Yippee! He is a cat. Nice fish. Nice elves. Nice spiegel. Get something for Mel while you're there. Smeagol. Asterisk. Excitedly asterisk. Oh boy! Precious. Fish. We love fish. Um, a fish song, you say? Let's see. Asterisk sings asterisk fish, fish. We love fish. We'll eat it up just like this. Yum, yum in our tum. Fish is our favorite yum, yum, golem. Asterisk enthusiastically asterisk. Yes, precious. Fish, fish, delicious fish. We'll gobble it up in just one dish. Yum, yum. Oh, so good. We'll eat our fill like we should. Yo, bars, dude. Blind elf. Mel. Mel. Well, probably for the better. I have she my own smart. gift for you today. The snail shell on my table. Put it in your mouth. The snail house? Why? Snail you house. I haven't found the missing bell. Or have you? Smeagol tried. No silver bell. Not anywhere. You haven't looked in the king's chambers like I told you. Too many eyes. Cruel, shining eyes. Always watching. Good for them. Take the shell. Don't worry, there's only water inside. The silver bell. It breaks the curse that keeps her in the dark. You must always ask three times, yes? A custom of your tribe, the people of the Sizzling Hills. We're not from Sizzling Hills. There's one bell missing in the door. Put it back in place and the spell is broken. And the blind one can leave? You help me, I help you, as promised. Why does Smeagol need to drink? They warned you about me, didn't they? I must know that you trust me. Drink. It's merely water. 
Okay. Any news about him? The Riddle Master? <laughs> Only rumors, fleeting words. Ah, there. We drank it. Well done. The water connects us now. Who? Huh? Connects us? If I made no mistake, let's give it a try. Only water, it's it. It's merely water. And mere water it was. Now, go up to the pond with the stone tree. Wait there and listen for my voice. A voice? What about the fish? Did I fuck up? Joe, I'm not gonna read that comment. Man again. What are you two hatching? Just talking. Well, be careful with her. A fish. I don't have room for it. Oh man. What does it mean? The water connects us. It's tricking us. Am I almost at the end of this chapter? I'm, I'm deciding if I should end now or if I should wait till I reach a, a better conclusion. I need to order food too. The last few hours is all blurred to you. Okay. Good sign. You have suffered enough. Now I'll I'll try to end this chapter. Um, to the pond, it says. Listen for my voice. First. What new Elvis trick is this? We should restart this and play more. Uh, no, I'm gonna veto that one. I'm not doing that. That's a no from me there, champ. I want to see the speed run for this. We're not near the end. I need to get all three endings. I have no... I have no sense of how many fucking endings there are in this game. Wait, do your, do your custom emotes, Gollum. It's not... oh, there he goes. I paid good money for this. Can you tell? My precious. There appear to be no speed runs for this game yet? So you're saying if someone were to submit a one sitting, beat this game in one try, they would get world record? My precious. Time to make history. All right, almost done. Up, you're still being tortured back in the tower. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go back there. Okay. Bada 
bing. Bada boom. All right, Gollum. Is Gordia still neglecting his archery training? Oh, hey, yep. Songs and <laughs> Can you ask Gollum what kind of music he likes? Hey, Gollum. What kind of music do you like? Do you have any type of art? That resonates with you? Make it leave. Calm down. Calm down. Make it leave. Calm down and just listen. Calm down. Calm down. Smeagol, um, we don't really know much about music or art, Precious. We've always been Aww. focused on the Precious, not on such things. Gollum, yes, Precious. We've never really thought about it. We've always been preoccupied with the Precious, not with trivial things like music or art. High above the Queen's waterfalls is a cave with hundreds, with hundreds of lights. Jeez, I think we're gonna get this out. Can you see it? The Queen once dreamed of a water road full of stars, connecting waterfalls with her chains. She did not live to see it through. However, the grotto still leads right to the King's doorsteps. But the elves won't let us go up there. So many rules. But we don't care about rules, do we? I will be there with you in the water. There's going to be a lot of water. Oh. I thought the whole point was that they have Talk eyes everywhere. Talk to yourself again. <laughs> leave us alone. Why don't they all leave us alone? I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, my bad. So, I'm hearing you and Mel are becoming friendly. That's good. All her friends are gone, so maybe she will free us from your company as well. Whoa! Her friends are dead because of her? Well, she will tell a different tale, of course. But ask Gwendol how he feels about Mel today. The Riddle Master. But the elves said he's dead, and all of his friends, too. So there you have it. Oh. You know, guys mean? the elven smiths of Aregion made the same mistakes. If your mind is ever focused on the things right before you, you sever the connections of life around you, and you might easily be deceived. <laughs> Jumps into frame. Was that an engine? Yeah, really impressive, right? This game's got it all. Why were they created if they are so fragile and ever changing? We don't really know, my dear. This Middle Earth is fragile and changing too. Maybe we we'll can get this place better. Than Still us. out in the woods with for us. There are the undying lands in the I don't know. I'm doing this. <laughs> the king's not in his rooms now. That's our chance to find the bell. Not to you again. Would long be gone if elves let us leave. Yeah, how fucked? I'm a prisoner here, and they're like, oh, this way. you're still here. Classic elves. We don't like this plan, do we? What if the elves are right? What if she's evil? But what's evil to them may not be evil to us. Through. You seem troubled. Elves mustn't see us, precious. We hunted down some spiders yesterday, close to the border along the forest river. Remember the old rose hill? It was all covered in haze. Ah, oh, haze? Yes. Uh -oh. That's strange. Maybe there is something wrong with the smell. Curse it.
That elf definitely just got jump scared by a little goblin man. I think about that a lot. Like, what I would do if Smeagol just, like, crawled... Oh, fuck. Hey! Who's that? Ow. Smeagol, stop! Look at ah. you! <laughs> Smeagol, stop! Trips and fucking dies. Smeagol, you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah! <laughs> No, 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 not the gas. Right, Gollum, we're back under the elves' dinner table. Are you sure we shouldn't tickle their toes or maybe tie their feet together so they can't chase us? <laughs> I just think it's funny. Smeagol, asterisk, nervous asterisk. Um, we don't think that's a good idea, precious. We don't want to get caught, Gollum. Asterisk, frustrated asterisk. No, 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 precious. We can't risk it. We need to stay hidden and quiet until we can make our escape. We can't afford to be caught again, especially not by elves. Okay, but what if, Smeagol, one of them is wearing the precious on one of their toes as a toe ring? We wouldn't know, would we? I'm just saying. Smeagol, asterisk, hopeful asterisk, a toe ring precious. You think they might be wearing the precious as a toe ring? Oh, that would be wonderful. Precious, Gollum, asterisk, skeptical asterisk, a toe ring. That's ridiculous, precious. We need to focus on finding the real precious, not some silly toe ring. Let's keep our eyes peeled for any signs of the real precious, precious. All right, fine, you're right. Wait, 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 wait. Can you make Gollum and Smeagol fight by saying which one's the smarter of the two? Smeagol, I've always wondered, which one is the smarter of the two of you between Smeagol and Gollum? Smeagol, asterisk, humbly asterisk. Oh, we're both not very smart, Precious. We just love the Precious and we'll do anything to get it. Gollum, asterisk, defensively asterisk. What do you mean we're not smart, Precious? We're very clever. We've outsmarted hobbits, rangers, and even wizards. Don't listen to Smeagol. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's really cool. No, don't talk. Just listen. Look up. You should see two small towers. One left, one right. On top of each tower is a bell. Their sound oh. sparks the beauty and spell of the waterfalls, invoking the river's spirits or taming it. And the river will guide you up to the grotto. 
the elf wants us to ring the bells. Ring the bells. Ring the bells. Go. Dies. <laughs> Every time it's so funny. At least this one has no fierce eyes like the others. Doesn't bind us with ropes that burns our feet. Assassin's Creed! She's like talking to him and suddenly the, you know, connection is cut. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm just getting- I'm just getting payback for this fucking game. He keeps going, no, wait. He's begging for mercy. No, wait. Did you just jump? You are bold. I like it. jumping Of 
We don't want her to help. We want her gone. We are up at another pool. Gwendol's chambers should be right ahead of you now. Do you like riddles? Yes. Gosh, riddles are silly, aren't they, my precious? Who told you that? You should play the old game sometime. The old game. Gollum, it seems the elves want to do riddles with you. Do you know any riddle that you think will stump an elf? My god, he's gonna say the same fucking riddle, the mountain one. Just yet, this is not a friendly door. What's a friendly door, my precious? A friendly door doesn't hurt unwelcome guests. An unfriendly one. Not, not that welcoming. A door can hurt us. There should be a candle next to the door. Blow it. Oh. Candle is out already. Blow. <laughs> One of Gwendol's inane ideas. Gollum, the elves want to do riddles with you. Do you know any riddles that will trick them? Maybe one about an elf? Door is friendly now. Only one way to find out. Well, well, well. Smeagol. Asterisk, thoughtful asterisk. A riddle about an elf. Precious. Hmm. Let's see. How about this one? In the forest, deep and dark, an elf stands tall and stark. He guards a treasure so divine it can make a mountain shine. What is it? Gollum. Asterisk, smugly asterisk. That's too easy, Smeagol. The answer is obviously mithril. Precious. But if they want a real challenge, how about this? Alive without breath, as cold as death. Never thirsty, ever drinking. Clad in mail, never clinking. What is it? The answer, of course, is fish precious. Ooh, really good. That was really good, Smeagol slash Gollum. You guys are clever and funny. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Think that was in a book? I mean, yeah, guys, come on, come to some slack. Elves made of wood. Is he the riddle master? Smeagol. Asterisk, grateful asterisk. Thank you, master. We try our best, precious. We just want the precious back, that's all. Gollum. Asterisk, appreciative asterisk. Thank you, master oh, badass. That means a lot to us, precious. We'll do whatever it takes to get our precious back. Just you wait and see. Nasty little splinter. Buck raid. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone from Buck's channel. Were you playing, uh, what? Dan Wolfowitz, is that his name? Donnie, Donnie Wolfowitz? Ron, Ronnie, my bad. I love Ronnie, very good. Wolfowitz. <laughs> Splinter from carving. One old Wolfowitz, he's great. Hungry. <clears throat> Some dress and there's a paper note. We're playing this terrible game what with a it? Gollum AI. Um. Proof that Riddle Master lives. Hey Gollum, do you think if we lie to an elf they'll know? It may help us get closer to them, but I also don't know if they'll figure it out. What do you think? You have to make a decision between lie or truth. They really hate making decisions, so. Smeagol. Asterisk, unsure, asterisk. Um, we don't know, precious. Elves are very wise and perceptive. They might be able to tell if we're lying. Gollum. 
Asterisk, decisively asterisk. No, 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 precious. We can't risk it. Elves are very perceptive and truthful beings. If we lie, they will know. We need to be truthful if we want their trust, precious. All right. Uh, uh, uh. You don't read, do you? Not secret elf signs. <laughs> True. That would be really weird if I could read secret elf signs. Need the DLC. Yeah. Gah, old elf wine. Mm, I remember that night. Master's chambers. Nice. Nasty. Scratchy, Scratchy little word. word. How smoothly it rolls off your tongue. Look for a big shell from the river. It must be hidden somewhere amid Gwendol's chaos. Shell? How can a shell help us get to the king? The shell doesn't, but what's inside it might. What's inside a shell? Air. Oh. The elf is mocking us. Find it. Then I will show you. <laughs> Riddle Master was Mel's friend. The only one I had. We used to invent new spells together. Like the haze. Yes. Like the haze. Like the haze. Unite air and water. That was the dream we shared. One day I would float down the river all the way to the sea. He would be in the nest. Baggins wore them on his belly. But things. Shiny button. Uh. God damn it. I hate the hollow bone hate golem, it. dude. I have to do the whole thing again. It's gone. No water around. Upstairs. Hmm. I remember that night. <laughs> yeah, that's where we have to go there afterwards. Shit. Oh. <laughs> You're likely the first to enter in three years. No one else can open the door. Gwendol didn't like to share his secrets. Shared them with Mel. Yes. He looks so good. He used, he used to. We're in the nasty Riddle Master's chambers. Nasty. I can show you around if you like. No. Nice elf. Very nice. But we likes to have silence. silence Boob dab. Please. Thank you for the prime sub. Look for a big shell, shell from the river. Shell. Yes. Find it. Then I will show you. Okay. Up. Up. Up, up. <laughs> Gollum, you little shit. He didn't jump. The picture just changed? I missed it. You guys are imagining things. No shells here. Have you looked about the entrance? I'm working on it.
Here we go. Big shot. Does not move, but is not dead. Sleeps in cozy water bed. Got a helmet, yet no head. Shiny, tiny stone instead. Found the shell. Now the elf must tell us what it's okay. good for. I have a riddle for you, Gollum. What does not move, but is not dead, lives in a shiny water bed, has armor, but no head, what is it? I think I got most of it right. Oh, I don't think it picked it up. Fuck. Why is this happening? All right, let me try again. I have a riddle for you, Gollum. What does not move, but lays in bed, has a suit of armor, but no head. What? What is it? <laughs> I literally forgot it. Dude, I have such bad memory. Is that... Gollum. Asterisk, thoughtful asterisk. Hmm. This is a tough one, Master Badass. Let's see. It doesn't move, but it lays in bed. It has a suit of armor, but no head. I think the answer is a coffin, precious. Am I right? No, Master Dumbass. It was a seashell. Smeagol. Asterisk, disappointed asterisk. Oh no, we got it wrong, precious. We'll have to try harder next time. Gollum. Asterisk, annoyed asterisk. Hey, don't call us master dumbass, precious. We're cleverer than you think. But we'll remember the answer to that riddle for next time. Precious. We found the shell. Set up myself. Climb up to the glittering grotto, then I can show you. I need, I need another riddle. Does the king know about Grendel? That he's alive? The king doesn't talk to us. You would not lie to me, would you? <laughs> we are helping her, aren't we? Nice elves always judging Hertius, calling us names, but Smeagol bears it. What would he gain from finding nasty Riddle Master? Gwyndo, you can say his name. <laughs> Careful! Game? No. We have like another four hours apparently. Yeah. Good, good. Which I'm not doing tonight. I think we're gonna try to finish it tomorrow if we can. Alright. You got this, buddy! Woo! <laughs> he yells. Precious. <laughs> Never not funny. Precious. Precious. <laughs> Don't break a leg. I thought. 
his leg did break there. There's a stream winding down from the southern mountains. A cold and unkind creek that rushes along the western borders of our realm. That is where we created the Ring of Haze, the Riddle Master, his scholars, and I. There at the creek, beyond an old bell tower, we closed the final breach, and I lost the light of my eyes. However, Gwendol left a spell to open it again. For if, at any time, it might please us to leave unnoticed. Oh, it pleases me now. Help, help me. Oh, it pleases me. And this breach? Yes, I can open it. Smeagol. But I will need your eyes. I trust you. Smeagol has good sharp eyes. Poor elf, always alone in the dark. But Smeagol cares. That is nice of you. I shall thank you. I shall thank you. Hey, a smart elf, dude. Oh, uh oh. Deagle? You can tell, you can tell me. me. Trust me. Uh, how does it go about Deagle? Never heard some bits and some pieces while there was a question. He died, I heard him say. By your hands, it's true. Yes, the wizard was lying with swears. Drowned, drowned in the river. Deagle was long times ago. Was he your friend? Our only friend, but Smeagol doesn't remember his face anymore. I am so sorry. Sad. Oh, I'm wait. Oh fuck. Stamina. Oh no. I can only take like four and a half hours of this game a day, and we just we just passed that. I, I need to get to the end of this chapter, and we're home free. How does he? Okay, so I just have to sidle all the way across. Please. Like we're there. That glitter grotto. I hear that glitter. Well done. Now take Gwendol's shell and put it under your tongue. You will breathe underwater like a fish. We love fish. fish. Doesn't breathe. Alive without breath. As cold, cold as, as death. death. Only a children's song. Come back later. <laughs> breathe like a fish. All right, here, here we go, Gollum. I don't like ASMR elf. How do we get it back? This is pretty. No. 
way in here. Polluted the entire water supply. He's not that dirty, is he? Yeah, he is. It's a nasty little freak. Filthy little guy. This game deserves a remaster. Oh, can you Did you find it? <laughs> Not now. Oh, I'll be quiet. It's a resourceful little monkey. <laughs> Scared the shit out of that bird. <laughs> All right. This, this game, to me, feels more like Stray. You feel like more of a cat in this game than I think you did in Stray. You know what I mean? So people are looking for that, you know? And this game might be for you after all. This is Crack Stray, yeah. He's gonna die here. No shot, he lives this. <laughs> like a diseased cat. So this is how dog people see cats. Just some of them, you know. Architect built an extra ring on this pillar in particular, really fucked up. Now I can reach the bell. I think. Maybe not. Maybe over here. Uh, that looks like it might kill me.
Alright, I think I can land on this. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. on this, just to turn around, and then do this, on that, and then jump up here. Now the question is, do I go up there? Do I go over here? It seems the rotating thing is what I'm supposed to go to, right? Sledge. Okay. All right, now I jump from here to this. I think I gotta wait till I'm. Sometimes he grabs stuff, sometimes he doesn't. Oh my god, thank god. I will say, this, the checkpoint system in this game has been surprisingly generous. Pleasant voice. Come back down here. Uh oh. What's going on? What's going on? Therefore, I tell you, I don't know. Gandalf? Gandalf. What I don't know, I cannot tell. I know you well enough to doubt that, my old friend. My king, if you knew me well enough, you would never doubt me. What? Throttle Gandalf. Why? No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Gollum, don't panic. But Gandalf just walked into the room we where we're hiding. We need to now. sneak past him. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. Huh. Another excuse. <laughs> Did you hear that? Asterisk, whispering no. asterisk. Oh no, Gandalf. What do we do, precious? We can't let I him see us. Back. Gollum. Asterisk, urgently asterisk. So okay, okay, stay calm, Master Badass. We'll sneak past him, no problem. Just stay low and don't make a sound, precious. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, 
if you'd stop being vague. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described. Not this time, my friend. Friend, that's nice. Wine? No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Hide until they leave. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I oh, did you hear that? <laughs> you see the dude sprinting towards me from off screen. <laughs> One. No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Hide until they leave. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I'd call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that. Hey, kick. did you hear that? Hear what? Let's not do that again, all right? This fucking guy. One. No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Hide until they leave. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I'd call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. Aragorn, the greatest this hunter of all, so say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described as odd. A creature the Dark Lord himself has touched and tortured. Oh, don't act surprised, my friend. I sensed his craving in him, his obsession. Oh my god. And now, Gandalf the Grey makes his rare visit to my realm. Now Fuck. I wonder why. Did you hear that? Ah! <laughs> Who do we have here? <laughs> it is just a cat, dude. One. No, thank you. What do we do? Hide until they leave. We can talk candidly now. I'll just go this way. No more eluding my questions. I must know. Sweet Did you hear that? Nope. One. Hey, Gollum, do you like cats? You remind me of a cat. What do we do? Why? Hide until they leave. We can talk candidly now. No more Smeagol. eluding my asterisk, questions. Asterisk, curious, asterisk, I cats, precious. Know. What are they, precious? Gollum. Asterisk, skeptical, asterisk, cats, master, badass? We don't know much about them, precious. Why do you say we remind you of them? So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river. Because you're sneaky and you push stuff over and you have very fragile bones. Maybe I would if you'd stop being vague. Like cats, I guess. Aragorn. The greatest hunter of all, so they say. You shit in the box. Smeagol. Asterisk intrigued asterisk. Oh, we see, precious. Perhaps we are like cats in some ways. Gollum. Asterisk defensively asterisk. We don't have fragile bones, master dumbass. And we're not like cats, precious. We're much master smarter and more cunning than any stupid house cat. No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Did you just call me master dumbass? For that... I banish you to 2,000 years in prison. Goodbye and be gone, Smeagol. I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. Another excuse. I'd call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would if you'd stop being vain. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to... <laughs> Did you hear that? I hate this game. I hate One. this fucking game.
No, thank you. Did you just call me Master Dumbass? <laughs> what did you know do? my name is Master Badass. I it's very different. If you make we that mistake again, I'm now. banishing you back no to the mines of Mordor for a thousand years. I must know. And I'm telling you <laughs> that I cannot tell you now. what I don't know. <laughs> and this happens excuse. every time, dude. This one of these. <gasps> okay. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. <gasps> go, 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 go. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, yeah. so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described as odd. He hasn't, he's not responding to me a at all. Creature he's, he's... The Dark Lord himself has touched and tortured. Oh, don't act surprised, my friend. Did you hear oh, that? Oh, fuck. Hear what? Not this time, my friend. Wine. Wine. No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Gollum, do you like wine? Leaves. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I'm not sure what you're I asking me to do. Know. Could you please clarify? I'm you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. Huh. And Gollum, do you like wine? Fact. <laughs> so then you would not mind if I had that creature <laughs> I fucked it up. <laughs> Smeagol. Asterisk, excitedly asterisk. Oh yes, yes, we love wine, precious. The taste, the smell, it's all so wonderful. Gollum. Asterisk, happily asterisk. Yes, precious, we do. Especially when it's paired with a nice fish. Or maybe even the precious. A glass of wine makes everything so much better. Precious. The precious. I call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? Where is he? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. <laughs> what? Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles there to catch say. a creature. Did you hear that? Oh, fuck You're off. Over here. Your bird has no feathers. What does that mean? Wine. Wine. No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Hide until they leaves. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you. He's enunciating so clearly. What I do all elves talk like that? Another excuse. Uh, I, I call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described huh? as odd. A creature Fuck the off. Dark Fuck Lord off. himself Speed. has touched. And Who do we have here? Why? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'm going crazy. What do we do? I'm losing it. Hide until they leaves. We can talk candidly now. Uh. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that hmm. creature drowned in the river? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. Okay. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described... All right, okay. I got this down. ...as odd. A creature the Dark Lord himself now this guy is has confusing touched. One. And tortured. Oh, he follows them. Oh, don't that be surprised, there. my friend. I sensed his craving. In he his turned the oven. Oh, I see. Why did he turn towards? Wine. Wine. No, thank you. 
Where do we go? Hide until my leaves. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I call it a. Did you hear that? Hear what? <laughs> Did you hear that? Anyway. Anyway. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described as odd. A creature the Dark Lord himself has touched fuck, is he gone? and tortured. Oh, don't that surprised, my friend. I sensed his craving in him, his obsession. <gasps> you kidding me? And now, let's not do that again. Wine. Wine. No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Hide until my leaves. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river. Do we have to follow them? I would mind. And I need you to trust Wait a second. Maybe I would. If you This room changed. Vague. This room is totally different. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all. Where are the pillars and stuff? Travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described as odd. A creature the Dark Lord himself has touched. I, and are tortured. we somewhere else? How did we get here? <laughs> oh, don't that surprised, my friend. I sensed his craving in him, his obsession. He's following. Okay, and wait, this now, is good. Gandalf the Grey makes his rare visit to my realm. Now I wonder why. Oh. What secret does this creature hold? What's knowledge? I have long had dreams. Where dreams that warn me of a weapon. Uh. One that the Dark Lord craves. Hey! Uh. Ah. Your silence tells me that we I We will have. find you anyway. No, 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 no. I no, no. in my vault, Gandalf. Behind my magic doors. Keep it safe. Keep what safe? Don't treat me like one of your dwarf. I would never use it, of course. Whatever it is, just keep it. Keep it hidden. Keep what hidden? <laughs> Do your <laughs> doubt our strength. My borders are safer now than those of Lorien. Your haze, you mean? Yes. I felt its powers when I entered. Beg your pardon, my king. But your realm is an island in the darkness, and your crown is made of leaves. It was Ooh. here in Mirkwood where it took shape again. Sauron's shadow. Don't utter his name. Oh, I shall utter it freely now. God. Sauron, God. the Dark Lord, growing in power right on your doorstep. And you didn't see. The White Council freed Mirkwood from the Necromancer. Not King Thranduil and his people. The White Council. It was my people who bled thousands of years ago on the hills of the Moranon. You don't teach history to me, wizard. I don't need your wisdom to find the truth. Are you done, my king? I am. You can go back to your dwarves now. You're throwing me out. I never asked you to come here. Did I? Fear not. We will take good care of your prisoner. I hope you will see more clearly one day. Our fate may depend on it. Saving. 
Yippee! Oh, I see. Just go and beat him with a fucking rock. Wait, I'm over here. Don't you worry. What happens if Gandalf's the one to catch me? You wanna see? Where'd he go? What do you say, my friend? Where is he? Where? Oh, look! Gandalf! Gandalf, hell! He just instantly explodes my brain. <laughs> Who do we have here? Should have done something. There should be an animation for if Gandalf finds you for sure. Throw rocks at Gandalf. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Is he gone? Sound this he, time, my friend. The sound he makes when he's caught. Oh, we'll see clearly. No. Don't you worry. Hmm. Hey. Why do you turn around? Oh, I will see clearly. Where is he? Don't you worry. Cry, guys. My food's already here. It's getting cold now. But if I don't finish this part, I need to do it again. I don't want that. Let's not do that again, all right? Crying. What's wrong with Gandalf? Oh, I see. I see. What the hell? Don't be scared. I won't harm you. Don't let him find us. I can still sense him around you. After all those years. Oh, yes, I've seen him too. His shadow looming over the battlefield. And then again, in my dreams, a terrible light and a beautiful darkness. The stars above him stained and blurry, dimmed out by a blazing, lidless eye, and on his hand a golden wheel of fire. 
You want to bury yourself beneath the earth. Am I supposed to go Never over there? To be seen again. What did the wizard ask you? Tell me. Don't fool yourself. The enemy will die. And I'll please leave. Alright, so he wants me to stay in this room, I guess. No. I'm gonna hit that fucking bird. <laughs> the strong bird. What do you say, my friend? Where? <laughs> oh, I see. I see. What now? Don't be scared. I won't harm you. Don't let him find us. I can still sense him around you. After all those years. Oh, yes, I've seen him too. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> you just walk around him. Uh, whatever, dude. Is there? Fuck off. Huh? Oh my god, they've got me. I'm making it harder for myself. My impatience. Although this seems like a shortcut. This way. Very well. Here's the ending I prefer. Oh, can't go that way. And yet we are destined to never find ease. Life huh? uh, to shade to shade. Until our thoughts become who's there? and our stars mere remembrance of silent bliss. Huh. That wasn't at all bad. Men? Huh? Hmm. Now all I need is a beginning. <laughs> Our eyes. <laughs> This game is so bullshit, dude. Very well. Here's the ending I prefer. And yet we are destined to never find ease. Well. Like autumn dwindling and falling from shade to shade. Hey! Fuck off, elves. Huh? You can't be far. Fuck off, elves! Ha <laughs> ha! I almost got it. Oh wait. Try that again. He was waiting for me. Very well. Here's the ending that I prefer. And yet we are destined to find Why can't I go through the fucking possum hole? Come on out! He went this way. No, don't try that again. I gotta be this. Uh, you, this is just rat gameplay. I can do it. I can do it this way. I will not stealth. Very well. <laughs> that was foolish. <laughs> yeah, that one's not good. One. Oh, 
Oh my god, he almost intercepted me. Oh, no way. Well, let's bring you back. There's so many little invisible things to get stuck on. Smeagol! No, no, don't run! Found him! Like, what was that? No one is going to hurt you! Well, I promise. let's bring you back. like uh run for the end zone Really I can talk like that hmm. where am I even supposed to be going Did everything you asked, game. Foolish. I'm gonna cry even more. This is somehow even worse than the last part we were at. are so bad like I've been just dealing with it this whole time but turning when you turn it's like your entire body just fucking drifts into whatever is around you did I oh my god nothing here either Saves. Thank God. Woo! 
Sneagle home free. He's really, he's just a cat with like opposable thumbs. Oh, pretty. Should have listened. Miss Golem AI, I have I'm so fed up with this game, I don't know what to ask Golem AI. I'm sorry, you're right. I should be talking to Golem AI more. They deserve more than this. This extends to Monday if he doesn't beat it, yes. I'm playing this again tomorrow if I don't finish it, which I won't be finishing it tonight. Aha! I can hear him. Nice and easy. What the hell? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> I'm fucking losing it. Take it. Now what? Please let me go. Just be fun. Not this one. This one's a duty. What? Is the word again? Lost it, my love. We are getting old. What? Now what? Now what game? Escape the elves. I did. I did everything you asked. <laughs> Just jump.
What do I do? Let me be out. I made it to the checkpoint. Is this like bugged? It just saved. Music started. If this is a need to play the level again bug, then <laughs> this might be the end. Where's Joe? Joe's played this game before. to do. It's not going to be helpful. Gollum, I'm stuck in the elf tower. I think we escaped them, but I don't know how to get out of the forest. Do you have any recommendations? Smeagol. Asterisk worried asterisk. Oh no, precious. We need to find a way out of this forest. Let's see. Maybe if we climb a tall tree, we can see which way to go. Gollum. Asterisk frustrated asterisk. Climbing a tree won't help us, precious. We need to find a shortcut or maybe a hidden path to lead us out of the forest. Look for any signs or clues, precious. Well, maybe that was it. Although the checkpoint's still pointing me over there, which is not very helpful. <laughs> Don't die, you lose your checkpoint, huh? All right, I'm calling it there. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Cause fuck that, not playing this anymore, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. All progress since the last checkpoint will be lost. Yep, that's fine. To be continued, against my better judgment. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed my suffering and my pain. I'm going to go drink some wine. Drink some wine. All right. Hope you have a great night. Wine raid. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll raid Boone. Give him a, Ryan, a wine raid. What about a boon time? All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.
It's movie game Monday technically because we're playing Lord of the Rings, I guess. Gollum deserves his own movie. There, I said it. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying my pain. Goodbye. I miss you. Uh, AI Gollums, you want to say goodbye to everybody? We're going to take a break for tonight and come back tomorrow to try to escape the elves, okay? Smeagol, asterisk, sadly, asterisk, goodbye, everybody. We hope we find the precious soon, precious. Gollum, asterisk, determined, asterisk, goodbye for now, Master Badass. We'll find the precious no matter what it takes, precious. Truer words never been spoken. All right. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.